going live. We, mm -hmm. I think we're live. I think this mm -hmm. is it. Let me see. Starting. Hey, yes, yes. <laughs> wait, wait. Listen to that. Listen. You hear him? I don't. I don't hear him. I hear the liveness. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't hear Kelly. That's the thing. I don't oh. hear Kelly. The laugh is not here because we got. Mr. Paul Rodriguez yes. filling in. This is going to be so great. Yes. Well, thank you guys for having me. I of appreciate course, it. Man. You know, of I course. love coming on and hanging out with you guys. So, uh, yeah, man. Sorry, Kelly. Hope you're having fun in Australia. I'm sure he is. Oh, yeah. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. But uh, don't worry. I'll take care. I'll take good care of your spot here. Yes. Dude, P Rod, man. How are you, bro? Doing lovely. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints, man. I, uh, it's just uh you know just living the dream living the dream how are you guys can't complain living the dream as well i love it yeah what yeah. kind of dream we live in man the one i envisioned long long ago <laughs> did you really you did not envision you envisioned your life exactly how it is right now I can't say exactly. Okay, it, okay. I'll be I'll be honest. It went a little better than I <laughs> oh, seriously. I dreamt, okay. Than what I dreamt. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, no complaints, man. We live. We healthy. Family's alive and healthy. Yeah. The rest is just icing on the cake. All day. Let me, let me turn up a little volume here a little bit so we can hear hear you guys better. I was trying to log Dude, into I this like thing. The new there iPad. we go. Yeah. Well, we're reducing the paper because we I used to print out pages of paper, so we're Dude. reducing the paper waste okay. around here. I like that. And uh, not only do I have control over this, our audio board. Wow. You know, if people can see that on wow. at home right there. So I can I can turn. Usually, what I would do is like Kelly would be saying some weird shit, and I just turn him off. <laughs> see, you 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 got no mic now. See. Wow. Yeah. Well, we'll turn you up back up. Kelly's over here not. playing yeah. God. Or yeah. Chris is over That's here. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He's why. the engineer. He's the host. He's all of it. That's why Kelly's so nice to me. You know. Right. I, mean? I got the power. Yeah. I got the power. All of it. All of it. Star. Yeah. yeah. How many jobs you got, man? I got nineteen jobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's some in living color shit right there. I love in living color. Only only few know. Oh yeah. Go on, hit that rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't leave me yeah, hanging. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, you know, Kyle Excuse Barker me. and uh, and and Opie's uh, thing. Go and hit that rock. Yeah, yeah. Now I got what you're saying. I, it was a little slow right there. But All we good. we do have a amazing, 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 amazing show lined up today. We have. Um, I hate Cole? to no, please. interrupt. Sorry, you got to go to the bathroom. I screwed that up. Oh. No, not in living color. I was thinking living single. My bad. Yes. I know living. someone's gonna call me out on that, so yeah, I screwed that up. Single. Never mind. But do you remember in Living Color? Of course, Jim Carrey. Yes. David Allen Greer. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. Let me show you something. Let me show you guys something. J Lo. Oh yeah. This is yeah. J before J Lo blew up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I mixed that up. <laughs> My bad. No, 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 no. It happened. I'm glad you caught yourself. Yeah, yeah. I knew you I was gonna get chewed up. Oh yeah, you, yeah. you would have been destroyed in the yeah. comments, man. Fire Marshall Bill. Yep. Here we go. But uh, we got a cold call, Andy Anderson. We're not cold calling him. It's just the thing that Thrasher calls the thing that they cold call ah, Andy Anderson. Yes, yes, yes. Love that uh, piece. Skating around here. He lives down here. It's, yeah. it's so rad to see that dude around. Um, I, but YouTube channels, speaking of, you hey. know, P-Rod's got his. I got mine. We, I get, I'm glad I'm not me. New episode that just dropped in Des Moines. We're going to be talking about it a little bit because it was great. little contest out there. Yeah. Um, not to mention, uh, this I, Derek Glancy. Skates for uh, doesn't skate for works for girl. He's a lead sales guy, U.S. sales manager. Rips on the Kills skateboard, it. kills it. They just did a Jankum just did a thing about him, so we're going to check that out. Rob Pace, uh, OJ Wheels part. I don't know this. I feel like this episode may be revolving around me a little bit, but I was just on Hawk vs. Wolf, yes. which you were too yes, recently. So we'll, maybe we'll talk a little inside scoop. We should. We'll have a little chat. A little inside scoop, and then this man. Dude, it, it's called Lucky to be Alive, but mm. Tony Willie, my goodness, man. man. We're going to be talking about that tonight, too, because he escaped death. He fell off he a... He really did, bro. It was, a roof is like a three-story building. If you guys haven't seen it on Thrasher, it's crazy. But anyway, we're talking about all this stuff, so let's just get this show going, man. We got... Nine Club Live, episode 17. Uh, we're on YouTube and on Twitch for everybody that wants to get on Twitch over there. Uh, this episode is supported by Athletic Greens, Manscaped, Element, the uh, electrolyte drink I just drink used mix. it today, by the way. Element. Yes. No, the, the Manscaped. I, oh. just, I just trimmed my beard up with it today. Get on. Was, did you, you, was it the beard trimmer or did you go... Uh, the beard trimmer the, one. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know. There's 
There's a couple of different ones. We yeah, know, yeah, yeah. We got to be clear. The beard trimmer one. Okay. I mean, I trim everything with the same one. So okay. Sorry. Okay. See that? Now that's a. I don't know. People have mixed emotions about that. Yeah, I whatever. feel like Get it's me. It. I'm it's gonna your yeah, same yeah, body. Yeah. Yeah. It's Get my body, it. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you mean the ball trimmer? What do you mean? Yeah. 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 They use everything. Yeah. yeah. Why use not? Yeah. You clean yeah. the thing off. It's fine. Wash yeah. it off hot water. There you go. I boil mine in alcohol. Oh no. I mean, how dirty are you, man? I just I I have issues i actually get more nervous from my downstairs knowing that it's been on my face because my face has more exposure to the elements my downstairs is well, nice that's interesting it's contained yeah, yeah it's for contained. sure for sure oh it's interesting yeah. i never thought of it that way yeah hmm. i use a nose hair trimmer on everything <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right in there not to mention we got tim in the back and Raj. one size fits all Hello. yes <laughs> okay. tim trims one hair at a time tim trim i got lots of time <laughs> How are we doing back there, Tim? Raj, you guys good? I'm good. Good, 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 good. But yes, Manscaped and uh, Woodward. Woodward is a yes. big sponsor of the show. They, yeah. they support us, so yeah. But um, anyway, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, but um, we do. How are you doing, Paul? I'm doing Let's just continue as this. amazing I was doing it uh, the first time. First time around? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, great. You good <laughs> on beverages? You good? Um, we're gonna, okay. The hospitality is unmatched here at the Nine Club, I will say. Feel yes. free to make yourself at home. If appreciate you need another it. beverage, jump up. You need to go to the bathroom. Please feel free. That. By the way, I do want to compliment you guys oh, yeah. on the bathroom and the amenities. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, we just ate right before we started, mm -hmm. and, like, the toothpicks and the little flosser toothpicks, game changer, saved my life. I would have been in here having food all in my teeth and yeah i probably do i didn't do that you didn't do that <laughs> no i didn't do it do you use i don't really floss that much i should i just recently started because those little uh tooth pick flosser things yeah, the little ones with the u hook on them with mm -hmm. the yeah. floss yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i would say just the last two weeks i uh i started okay. um i started being consistent at it every morning okay they bleed at first because yeah. you don't yeah, do yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't do it often. Yeah, for you sure. get that gingivitis out. Right. Yeah, I noticed out. they stop bleeding like a after about a, a week or so. I got a, a tooth in the front here that sticks out. I don't know, man. I had braces when I was a kid, and uh, I did have the ret uh, the retainer. retainer mm -hmm. You know, I don't think I wore it too often because the, the my tooth moved back into into back. out of place. Yeah, you, it's a real commitment. <laughs> it is. It's like a life but commitment. when I'm flossing with those things, I, there's a one place that it gets stuck, and I can't. It's hard to get it back. And I, you get it in there, and you can't get bro, it out. I feel like I'm gonna pop my tooth yeah, out. Yeah, mm. yeah, it has that. Yeah, and it it happens. It probably won't, but I, I just have that weird feeling. Well, if it does, you know, you'll you'll, you'll be all right. But Kula never has that weird feeling. With a hundred dollars, I'll Damn. get the next donation train Thank started. You, Who's next? Kula. Okay. okay. The man. God bless you, Ryan. Jeez, Kula, Ryan man. Kula. Bring in the, the moolah. In the building. Showstopper. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, Ryan Kula, bring in the moolah? <laughs> That's a new one. That's a new one. That's pretty good. That is. No, we appreciate you, Kula. Oh, Thank day. you. Thank you. Is he over here and uh, donating too? No, he's no, just on. Just oh, on. I see over here, 255 by his name, number two. So this is all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's, used, to, he used yes. to be on Twitch. Oh, okay. We got Ryan Kula, Free Stuff Mad, and Haku Systems as a top uh, donator. So he gifted no, 255 gifted. people. Yeah. yeah wow. Right, so yeah. he. He's on the podium on Twitch, and he's over here trying to get. He the likes to stay on button. top. He, he stays yes. on top, you know. Yeah, he man, really does. I like that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know the um, toothpick. Anyway, <laughs> we're. Uh, it's good though. It's good to take care of your teeth. It's a. Uh, I true. Because everybody agree. hates a dentist. I, I've never met one person that's been like, you know what? I love going there. I just, I love it. <laughs> I have a good time there. Well, when they give you the funny gas. I uh, put you out. Yeah, true, put, true. Makes you feel nice and comfortable. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Really get sink, laughing gas. Sink right into that yeah, seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite part about knee surgery, by the way. The laughing gas? About an hour before I went into surgery, they gave me something. The, uh, uh, for, the anesthesiologist came and gave me something. I was like super nervous. I never had surgery before. And they gave me something, and I felt great. I was so happy. I was talking. I was laughing. I was like, surgery is great. I should get this more often. Like, they wheeled me into the into the operating room. I'm like, what's up, guys? How you doing? I see all the fucking tools and shit that they're about to use on me. Like, what's that? Is that your tools? Like, oh, those are cool, man. They're shiny. 
Like just so you remember this. I remember that part, mm. and then they put me to sleep. But like an hour earlier, right? Yeah, they gave me something and, the and, prep, and some happy, happy sauce or something. But like, they always uh, show the the aftermath of you know people on just coming, coming out, out of, of surgery it. and yeah. they don't know what the hell they're talking about. There, you ever seen the Dubai's lit kid? <laughs> Dubai's <is> lit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I had many. You know, <laughs> I seen one where this, this this girl was coming out of surgery, or I don't know if it was her molars or whatever, but she was coming out and she was like. She told her boyfriend, like, you ugly. Oh, she said some Your best shit. friend's finer than you. I want to hook up with your best friend. Like, wow. Like, yeah, I think I remember seeing that. It was definitely uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, poor bastard. Like, Update, they're not together anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is facts. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. You got to watch out who's around you, you know, when you're when you're coming out of that stuff. If it's a funky, yeah, it can. could be a funky adventure if for If you everybody. know you got demons, yeah, just keep those people away from you. Oh, man. There it is. I don't know if we could show this. Man, we've been getting hit with copyright shit left and right on this show. Look it's fucking crazy, it. bro. I don't know, but there's... Well, there's companies that buy these things, uh, you know, and then put them out. But this kid, uh, we'll play the audio. Oh, we can't even hear it, though. Is this whole, coming off the happy that's sauce? That's a du Dubai was lit. Kid. Ah, okay. Wow. Just waking up from the... I don't know why... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. He sounds like the kid that was in a, you remember a, the movie? Well, not everybody's going to know that movie, Weird Science. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When he was in a scene and he was trying to relate with the with the brothers and he started talking like similar to that. Oh, it, really? He sounds just like that. Bro. <laughs> he was trying to, re yeah. really? Yeah. I don't remember that. You don't remember in that? Weird Science? In weird Science. He kind of looks this kid like him too. a white kid? Yeah. We could show, we could show <laughs> his little picture right here. Oh, man. You remember that, right, uh, Tim? Of course. Dude, yeah. is it just me or is that little thing over his face make him look like he got it? the Hitler mustache? A little, does, bit, a little bit. bit. <laughs> I was like, you got to be careful when you're live. You don't know what to be, it's going to get flagged or what. It's crazy. Goodness. It's fun stuff. Fun stuff. Well, we'll we'll talk about too. We just mentioned it. P. Rod, you were recently on Hawk vs. Wolf. I just, I just, my episode just came out. Mm -hmm. I filmed it like three weeks ago or something. Um, for me, I, I was on Ellis's show recently. No, eh, about a year ago, maybe. Went to his house. He has a, a set at his house, actually, like in his garage. It's pretty dope. But for me, it was kind of interesting to like. Why were you so angry in that picture? I want to talk about that. Hmm. They grab weird photos from the internet. Why, why are you so? What, what, hmm. Do we need to talk? That's do we need to have a conversation? They, yeah, no, they, they I just use, I they use the wrong photo. They yeah, they picked. They didn't consult me. I'm just saying, like, why was that face being made anyway? I have no idea. Dude. Did it smell funny in there? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. No, but you know, they grab a. They I just know. grab a ra um, random right. internet. I'm glad they didn't use the beard one. Oh yeah, you haven't done that. They for got a while. you after you manscaped. Uncup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Chris's headshot. <laughs> But see, I'm a, little, I'm a little more happy there. What? In the interview, you're fine. <laughs> but it's interesting, too, because um, it's just for me, I mean, we live this. So maybe you have a whole different opinion because you've been on uh, a, a bunch of different podcasts. But yeah. it's so interesting as, a, as, a, as we do our show here to go into another podcast and just see the inner workings mm. of how they do it. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Oh, they yeah. got these many cameras. Oh, we're in this little small room. Like, we're in a room smaller than we're in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it's dark it's in there. Office building, yep. just a room, little room with a set. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's really bizarre to like, you know, and then they just kind of start going. There's no intro. We yeah. were just we were just shooting the shit, and then Tony's just like, "Oh, we better get this started." And he's just like, "Hey, Chris Roberts is here." Blah blah blah. And we just start, start going. Oh wow. Yeah. We're and not then, gonna like we're gonna chill for five and we'll start. And... I mean, we were kind of bullshitting yeah, yeah. in the beginning, but he, people got to realize like around here. Paul knows you've been it's here plenty of times. It's, you come in and then we're kicking it for, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. it's depending on the guest. Maybe it's an yeah. hour, maybe yeah. it's tw 10 minutes, maybe yeah. it's 20 minutes. But we're I kicking mean, it. Yeah. They grab before food. and after. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here they just kind of shuffle you in and out. <laughs> it's yeah, they, kind of they, interesting. There's definitely like they have a schedule because they're shooting like four or five shows back to back that day because they shoot in LA and Tony lives down south. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but for me, like I, I get so starstruck from Tony Hawk. Mm. I get so started. Really? Like, I'll be sitting there. I'll be talking. I'll be like, "Oh my god, that's Tony Hawk!" Like, I, I get so starstruck. <laughs> really? In the yeah. moment. 
Yeah, it gets me. Like I'm getting frozen in my tracks. Like that's so weird. Yeah, but you're t- you're Paul Rodriguez. I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, before, yeah. Ever, for thirty eight years. Yeah, yeah. It's what my mom calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Rodriguez. Uh, uh, no, but uh, yeah, I, but I love that. I, I like getting starstruck still. That's like interesting. you know, like, for sure. With my, with my, I don't get that. I don't get that. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I would definitely feel that a little bit. Yeah, I could tell you were so starstruck in that first picture. You know, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm but it is interesting that. to go in and, and see the whole thing. Because, I, I mean, I, when it comes to it, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes down to, like, all this. Right, right. You know. I, um, I can see why. Yeah. Just all the little things here. You mm-hmm. know, all the little tech and shit like that. You yeah, know, no, you're into it. I had fun, though. It was nice. Yeah. Good combo. Mm-hmm. Um, I had known Chase and Ellis for a while because back on the Plan B days, he was real tight with Colin and Danny. Right, yeah. right. So I, I've been around him plenty of times and uh, went on his old serious uh show before oh you went on his mm. series show yeah yeah Sick. yeah so you know it was nice catching up with those guys growing down mm-hmm. nice yeah yeah i went on, you've been on uh you were on the, somebody's podcast like um, a year or two ago yes uh god i'm having a brain freeze on how who that was um, <laughs> it was your buddy right no he no? was my buddy I'm, but i can't remember the name of the podcast oh. anyways yeah i was on two different podcasts and they were not formulated like this i think when he started his he had just Probably I was like maybe the fifth dude that he was interviewing. Okay, um, just getting started. Big shout out to him though. Like even though I, I don't know his name at the moment, but they got picked up by uh, Spotify. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I was happy to how hear that. How does this happen, Paul? How does it? Wait. How would it? Where does this? How does this happen? What? Do you, what part? It's big, the part that he can't Spotify. remember the name yeah, of his buddy's thing. Well, I know. I know how that happens. That's, 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 that's yeah. That's um. Somebody will fucking. It's a lot of a lot of greenery going on right there. You already know. There's definitely and it was pertaining to that. And we. That's right. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But I thought that like Apple, uh, you know, podcasts and Spotify. I thought you can just put it on there. You can, you can. But I, you know, Spotify. It's resolved. Well, Spotify. For, if he's getting picked up by Spotify, that means Spotify is paying him. Oh, yeah, his whole his whole there it is. Dope as usual. Dope that's, as usual. That's the one. Right, guy. Ah, yes. Ryan Kula again. Kula, you already know point. he's um he's definitely on point. He's the champ. Straight up. Um. You guys have never been approached by these type of opportunities? Would that be something you would like? No. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh. We've never been approached. Oh. But, um, oh, by being picked up by an, an, an third it's party? It's interesting. It's interesting because I truly believe, I don't know, we're in such a, we're, we are in a niche. Yeah. You know, it's skateboarding, right? And it, would our audience, if we left, excuse me, I hmm. spit all over the place. If we left YouTube and just went over to Spotify would our audience follow us over there? I don't know if we'd be I mean, getting the same numbers I'm as we seeing, do now. I'm seeing multiple people on both Twitch and YouTube. I'm seeing, you know. Right. But if we moved over, it's hard to get people to follow you sometimes over to different platforms. Interesting. Yeah. Well, this maybe, is true. yeah, interesting. I don't know. Uh, but there's probably pros and cons, but I think the more you guys do it independently, is probably like mm-hmm. the more you, you... For sure. ...will reap the benefits. I mean, if we're getting like Rogan money... I just like don't he think got like a hundred million. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, if Rogan, you get Ro- t- Rogan that's money, you uh, you don't need Ryan Kula no more. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> we, but we we, we need a, we Kula. need a support. But, yeah, but we, somebody needs to help Kula out because he's over here dishing out the big bucks. Yeah. So no, I'm saying, we love Kula for yeah, that. Shit. Get that get that Rogan money. Kula uh, Kula could probably you know go back to saving his bread. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's no live chat on Spotify. Chris is just like, nah, I wouldn't follow you guys over there, <laughs> like, no matter what. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Love you guys, but now. Nah, Oh, you're, uh, I mean, when I'm you're someone interested. like Joe Rogan, you, you people will follow. I'm not saying that we don't, we definitely don't have the power as Joe Rogan, that's for sure. But for skateboarding, yeah. But I don't know if the skaters will follow like that's that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, he gets 10 million views and listens an episode, and wow. he has episodes like almost every day. And they are pretty impressive. Could you imagine? Yeah, he started on YouTube, yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, we're not saying that we will, everybody. We're just this is a hypothetical conversation. Obviously. But I just want to, you know, throw it out there mm-hmm. because you know I'm just mm-hmm. the homie who come pops in from time to time. Sure. Like, I would just say like, if you ever see these guys on Spotify, just know that it, it was an opportunity that like was huge for them. So don't be mad at them. But, you know, oh, if even right, if you're not going to fall over, just yeah. give them a good. You know, a clap. They earned it. What would go. be okay? Like, yeah. you got Joe Rogan, hundred million, right? Now, in our niche little market here, skateboarding, 
What would be the, What would be a number that Spotify would offer? You think? $10 if the, I have no oh, idea. Rush is ten. I don't know. The, no, he said. Did he say ten million? Ten dollars a year. Oh, ten dollars. Oh. Ten dollars a year. That's right. Actually, heard. we'll take that. That's more than we're making now. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Kula just took that. All do you know how much taxes we got on to pay on that? We got to pay on that too. Yeah, it's probably half. So you still got fifty. Uh, 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 I don't. I have no idea. I okay. Don't, I don't know that business at all. If Spotify said, "Hey, listen, guys, we'll give you guys a three-year deal for five million. If I were you, I would. I would not uh, pass that up. I, I wouldn't either. Yeah, because I, I I wouldn't care if our views went up or down at that point. Oh, no it's doubt. guaranteed. No doubt. I don't even know if I'd still do the show. I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, uh, I don't know. it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, man. You know, there's certain. You know, when you earn an opportunity like that, you can't pass it up. After the sure. three years, though, say your viewership went down. Right, and after the three years, now you got to. And Spotify's like, "Oh no, you're good. We're gonna send you back out into the world." Now we got to rebuild our YouTube. We got to rebuild. So now you're in a rebuilding yeah. process again. Well, if you're smart, when you go into a deal like that, and obviously that sounds like it's probably life changing deal, tr- life changing money. Right. Um, you would plan financially properly, and uh, and if worse comes to worse, you could. Ha- have the cushion mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to take your time to rebuild but right. I, I i have faith in your following i have faith that like they're gonna still it's not like you're gonna stop talking about cool right. stuff like it's, right i have faith you know that they're gonna come they're gonna come fuck with you man they well, lo- these guys love you i got great news for all all everybody our, our community here we're not going anywhere because they're not <laughs> offering not five million dollars so we're good we're chilling <laughs> hypothetically speaking we're chilling we're actually living off of Kula's donations so yeah straight that's up. pretty much like but no if you see them on spotify they got five million or more so hey. just be happy for them. hey <laughs> and i pray you know what I, i'm gonna pray for that Thank i, I hope bro. that happens Put that materialize. What were we saying at the beginning? You, you, you visualized all this. Where you are right. Visualize us in a different, yeah. Yeah. you know, in a different tax bracket. It'd be the nine will. million club. Right. After there that, you go. You know what I mean? hey. By the way, this just in. Um, Hawk vs. Wolf changed the. Uh, they changed the. <laughs> they changed the profile photo. So <laughs> yeah, we're, they, we're, they've updated it. Much it's perfect. F- FYI. <laughs> Why are you pissed in that photo too? Because though? that's just my. I just. I'm not happy, Paul. Just, I haven't manifested as Mike would anything. Say, <laughs> you're ahead in deer lights, as Mike would say. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't manifested anything, Paul. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so mad. No, no, no. That's not true. But listen, thank thank you, uh, P-Rod. and I mean, um, Hawk vs. Wolf. I had fun. It was actually really fun. I've only been on two other... I've been on uh, Wolf's podcast, Mm -hmm. Jason Ellis, and Mm -hmm. then now on Tony Hawk's. My question to you is, is it weird to be on the guest end of things? No, I liked it. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I guess that's it. Well, I did notice too, <laughs> but here's the thing though, is like, I noticed because I've learned a lot of seven years and I feel like I, listen, I mean, it's a conversation. Sometimes we do interrupt the guest and everything, but I, I feel like I, I, I notice it a hundred percent when I'm trying to get my train of thought out into, into, into actual words. And then they either Tony or, or Ellis says something and kind of derails my thought mm. and then as the host that I have to normally do to bring a guest back into their conversation, if they go off on a tangent, I had to be like, Oh wait, a couple minutes later, but let me finish that. What I was thinking of what I was talking about. Let me, let me go back to that real quick. So you felt that that was happening quite often? No, I wouldn't say often, but I noticed it. And I was like, Oh man, like it just gave me more insight on how, it was not to interrupt research in a way. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun though. It was fun. I'm a fame, fame demon. No, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, you invite OG Skate Show as a podcast. Does it invite me on there? Okay. Oh, that's okay. dope. OG's holding it down, bro. Blueberry wants to know how come P Rod is so good at skating, but not him. Um, I don't know. If you eat that many blueberries, you should be really good. Yeah, antioxidant. But thank you for the love. I think that's on you, Blueberry. Yeah, yeah and maybe add some raspberries in there. <laughs> And I think it'd be good. <laughs> let's talk about. Let's get into this, man. What do we got, Chris? Ah, uh, this is a really dope, dope piece, bro. I feel like you've become an uber 
I'm a big fan. Andy Anderson. Bro, he's fan. really, really creative. He's really literally authentic. We talked about that last week. Yeah. yeah. Friday. Right. Bringing back some Nottis vibes. You right. Know, paying homage. That was cool. Wow. He's just really good on his skateboard, bro. Look at the stuff he skates. It's Yeah, and just like the creativity to think of that. Yes. Like and to make it work. A lot of these spots, I wouldn't. I would walk by them and not even notice them as skate spots. I wouldn't like yep. that. I wouldn't recognize no. as a skate spot. Hundred percent. And it's That's interesting true. because if you have you been have you skated with Andy in real life? Yeah, I mean, in the in the streets, not in the streets, okay. but even in parks, it's the same. Right. But in the streets, I feel like you are skating. He's doing. You're like, what? Are you, you rode up that wall. You disastered the thing, and then you rode down the other side. Like, I, what? You just. He doesn't leave his board. Right. His feet yeah, are yeah, always yeah, yeah. on his board. Even when he bails, he bails out. He skates out of a bail. He's yeah. a perfect example yeah. of someone who like knows how to actual like the literal version. He knows how to ride his board. Right. Yes. He can ride it. I know how to do tricks. I can flip it. I can do tricks. <laughs> but he knows how you to. You could do the knack. Ride a skateboard. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a skateboard. Right. Yeah, he's connected in a different way. I yeah. definitely, for sure, could see that. Like, and then he can do like that and, and you're like man uh, where, where do you have time in the day to learn how to do all this stuff and i know yeah. what you're saying though paul but it's not like you don't know how to ride your skateboard but you when you're doing when you're filming a line you're putting it together right yeah, but, in, in in a certain sense yeah but it's not the riding that I, that I, that i'm putting together it's the tricks right you're putting together a line and the good part what i notice about him he's very stream of consciousness right he's mm-hmm. very kind of just going as he's going mm-hmm. and it just happens in the moment free flow no not doubt. very planned out I'm, I'm a planned out guy um but uh yeah i i just i respect this type of skating because to me it's like that's really skating yeah Hun- definitely like this stuff yeah. The free stuff, like no, he's super if, comfortable, if, bro. If you've ever and tried that, that kind of stuff, good but, luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You picked it up pretty quick, Chris. The oh, the freestyle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, I did. He, he, he did teach me a, a, a move, a move or two. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't say that I'm uh, proficient in them by any means. This they, walking up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, like that was insane. Like, who thinks of that? This that's the end of that. that was, we just pulled a couple clips from yeah. the actual video, but you get the idea. You need to. People got to go watch this. It's. Fuck, it's fascinating, bro. He really is, man. To see him rip these spots. Yeah. And yeah. the best dude ever, on and off the board, man. He's a good guy, man. Here's your nightclub shirt. He is. He was rocking the nightclub shirt? I didn't he even was. notice that. He was. Dude, do we got to give him 20 bucks? Mm-hmm. All right, Damn. I'm here with the Andy Ann. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a... Um, let me switch this over. We could probably play. I mean... And he yeah, he just breaks down like a bunch of things that, you know, obviously he used to get ridiculed by the helmet thing. This is a spacewalk, right? Am I correct? Oh gosh. Correct. That is so hard to do. I got I kind of did it a little bit, but let's see. Close. Yeah, just like the nuance of it. It's easier when he's breaking it down on like what you, you know, because f- f- in a contest, s- scraping your tail's okay in freestyle. Mm-hmm. But to us, that's not a, you know, I mean, you There's scrape still freestyle your t- contest? Yeah. He enters them all the time. Wow. Even that, that is looks ex- crazy is- hard. Anyway. This is a whole thing. Go watch this video too, man. This is a yeah. We should get we should get freestyle P rod. I think that'd be yeah. Free rod. Let's work up. Free rod. Free rod. Free rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love that band. <laughs> <laughs> He's free, free rodding. <laughs> I love it. Cole call Andy Anderson. You guys go check it out, man. The link's in the video description below. Such a good dude, man. Really I, I love is, it man. when he when he's around here. We'll have him back soon. Yeah. Free Rod, how you doing? I'm doing lovely. I'm just over here. I'm just reading, checking out everybody. Checking out the t- don't 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 forget about Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is over here. Got Twitch and yeah, yeah. and and YouTube. True that. Let's see what we got here. I just like how come YouTube has like way more flow in it? Is there less uh, Twitch? 
So right now on YouTube, there's about 12, uh, 1,100 people. And on Twitch, there's only 37. Ah. So yeah, obviously it's a little more scarce, less people there. The Gooch604, subscribe with the Prime, appreciate you. Big shout out, Gooch. Yeah. Yeah, Big man. Gooch. It's cool, though. I like having the chat here. Our other show, the uh, Nine, uh, Nine Club, we didn't have the chat. Mm -mm. Well, they're still so, waiting for the Chris Roberts cold call. I don't need... I it's need getting real cold. <laughs> it's probably going to freeze over <laughs> before you see a cold call of me. Uh, Who filmed that? Uh, that was... um Chris Gregson filmed that, right? Probably. I believe so. I think he did. Yep. Chris Gregson. Shout out Chris Gregson. Big shout out. Best, best dude. Blood Wizard. AKA cool. best transition skateboard filmer yes, and tony hawk tony hawk stand in yes yeah both handle their business <laughs> how are we doing free rod we good we good we are yeah. continuously okay. Okay. doing well uh, we're Make actually sure. getting sure. better <laughs> we're, we're, as this as if this goes on you're, we're getting better okay yeah let's see okay okay i love i love the uh i love this show man it's a great show mm -hmm. uh let's see here Oh, Nike unboxing oh, video. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, Joey. Pops. Why do you do them in parts? I don't understand. You do it part one, part two. No, that one wasn't on purpose in part two. That's just the way the box came. I got a big box and I did the unboxing. And then all of a sudden, like three, four days later, like another set of boxes showed up, but it felt like they were all supposed to be together and it kind of just trickled, trickled in, in at the end. Mm. So I just. You, were ahead, you got ahead of yourself. Yeah. Oh. So I, I didn't know more was coming. So I just, we did it and. But hey, you know, more content. So Straight part up. part two. So Made part one, part did, two. Mike, did we label it as part two? He just, he, he, just he left, left the, the building. building. He just yeah. bounced. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I did see it today. It was part two. Oh, it's part two. Yeah, it said two. part two. <laughs> yeah, it's not, yeah. It, that wasn't intentional. Like just, everything we do on YouTube, when I say we, Mike and I, mm -hmm. it's literally spur of the moment, like. Gotcha. We're not organized or right. planned. It's just like, okay, we have an idea today. Let's film it today. And we edit as fast as we can and put it out. So it's not very sophisticated. Are right. you involved in the editing process? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You yeah. watch over. Are you? Is that because, well, here's the thing. Are you self-conscious or you want to like of, of certain aspects of the filming or not editing? Not so much. Uh, I've just like kind of let a lot of that go. It's more so just like, um, well, one, I want to learn, and and two, I want I want the people to feel like it's really like, like from me, you right. know what I mean? And you know, Mike knows how to do the actual editing, and Mike does a great job, but like, there's sometimes like I'll have a vision for that episode, and I'll be like, eh, well, you know, like maybe this part should go right here, and and sometimes Mike gets ahead of himself, and he'll like, like when he talks, like his brain moves faster than his mouth, or vice versa whichever it is that's how he edits so he'll be like hurry hurry and i'll be Real like quick. mike like how come you st like i'm in the middle of a sentence there like you gotta let him see what i'm you gotta let there's no context to what i'm right, saying right. like they need to like know what i'm saying right there otherwise you just started in the middle of a sentence and there's no con yeah yeah and i'm just kind of talking about something and nobody's gonna know what the hell i'm talking about so that's good though yeah. you know what you, you and mike should come on the show we should talk about some youtube stuff you know yeah. maybe ne next week or something you should come That'll on work. And, yeah. sounds good yeah to yeah, me. Yeah, okay. yeah yeah you should get on yeah, here man it's, it's, it's interesting you and spanish it would be great would you be know? hopefully spanish will be on and, yeah you know, a lot of times when mike uh you know gets in front of a camera he clams up uh. it's funny because he is he is the life of the party normally. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully he will be the life of the party when he comes on. Hopefully he doesn't clam up. I hope I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. I, I I'm going to put so my... Too. I'm going to knock on wood. Let's knock on wood. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be like the, the Spanish that we know. He's being yeah. a little dead right now, to be honest. Mm. Hmm. I think yeah. the burrito's weight or the Slowing quesadilla's down wearing yeah, him down. I, yeah, he should be. I, I don't... I, is the behind-the-scenes content filming itself right now, or... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think he went out to... You gotta use the restroom. Yeah, he I went out to go over there. To do some kickflips or something. He's headed back in. Oh, okay. he's headed. No, now he's there coming he back. Goes. Oh. And we're back, huh? Did I miss him? Oh. No, you're good. You're yeah, good. You're yeah. yeah, no, you're chilling. Yeah, no, you're chilling, man. All good things. All good no, things. You didn't miss anything but uh, the behind the scenes uh, content. Other, other than that, yeah. All good things, Mike. <laughs> Q wishes she could comment one thousand. This just in. I don't know. This just in. What? What do we got? Hype train. 
hype train on on Twitch because they know that they like Free Rod is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Free Rod is in the building. That's right, baby. Look at that. Let's look how go. look at that tan. Look at that. Uh, Charlie, that board that is getting busy. Killing it. Look at that tan, man. I like it. I like it. I did go to the gym today. That's why, you know, oh, yeah. I you like looking, I needed the shirt off. Yeah, it's not like you're buffed. Like, you're just like cut, you know? You're like a little chisel. You're chis- yeah, yeah, you're yeah, a little yeah, leg chisel. chisel. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how I, I'm trying to get right now. I don't want to be, I don't want to be where I can't, like, and I have to walk with my arms out to my side. Yeah, like, I need that. to, but I, I want to just be like a little, I want to be like that. A little yeah. chiseled. Yeah, yeah. Man. Just, well, you know, just a little fine tuning. There's Free Rod, man, yeah. doing it. Is that the, uh, I love it. Free Rod rocking in the real world. Are those shorts or underwear? Uh, you know, one in the same. Also, also the higher the socks. <laughs> one of the downer the fool. You know that. <laughs> Those are op. You, you know that all day. Okay, okay. Yeah, look at that. See, uh, I, that the, uh, the people don't know the freestyle life. Mm. It's really rough on your fingers, man. So we got to tape them up. You got yes. to. That's not. That's not style. There. That's not me trying to be OG Michael Jackson. That's that's just from putting in work. He's free. Part of the territory. Yeah. Free riding. <laughs> I like that, man. Listen, we got to talk you? about. Well, this is the Krill Tap um, U.S. Sales Manager Derek Glancy, and I love this type of stuff. I don't go down to girls as much as I same dude should or as I would like to. But when I would go down to girl, every time I'd stop by there, whether they were in the uh, Torrance location or their new, they're still Torrance, right? But still mm-hmm. in a, different locations. Oh, they mm-hmm. moved. Yeah. Whoa. They're in a different spot now. Whoa. Well, I've been there for about four years now. In, yeah, at least, in right? A new spot. Mm-hmm. I would go into every office and say hello. Mm-hmm. I would just, I just, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm people, I want to, everybody works so hard down there. I want to, you know, go, get in there and, you know, be like, oh, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. And what, you running for office? What's yeah. going on over yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> trying to make sure they I just feel like them. people, you know. I like to tell everybody they're doing a great job, you know? <laughs> just you're the, the dude. What if they don't hear it? <laughs> gonna need you to come in on saturday you walk in with your coffee mug too just Lum- office space lumberg yeah, office lumberg. Space, yeah. Lumberg. Yeah. Yeah. lumberg yeah but uh no i'm just that's who i am though i go in and say hi to everybody yeah. you know I like that. but i don't yeah i don't think he was there i don't think he was there when i was when i was still fairly there but yeah but anyway his skating's Kills amazing yeah, so jankum did a piece on him so shout out jankum go check it out but we just pulled a couple little clips because he kills it man he's filming oh, wow, a part wow he's filming a part right now and um, it's it's so rad to see. I love the behind the scenes people. Yeah, dude. And then it's just seeing them kill it on the board. See, we got to do this with some of our guys because some of our guys kill it. Right? Yeah, yeah, I love to see that, bro. Skaters doing the thing behind the scenes, and they can put it down. Do they? Look at that! Wow, that was so. That sick. was super. It was mad comfortable. It reminded, it reminded me of Mark Johnson for some reason. I don't totally. know. Totally. And just smooth the yeah. steez. Yeah. And he's wearing the four star. Look at this, the bonk, yeah, off That's with no so yeah. MJ, for definitely real, super lax. Four star needs to bring back them brown cords. Yeah, four star is working Dude. on some stuff. I definitely it caught word of mouth. If I could get some brown, if I could get some four star cords, I'd be so. Hyped. I used to run the black ones so heavy, bro. I was a cord guy. It's all I wore. Yeah, they all were the I best. wore. They to, were the best. to the point where they got. St- like that stain on the, mm. on, the on the thigh, you know, it started getting a weird look. You and I was like, I'm not that. gonna wear them no more now. That was my uh, my biggest regret when I left Girl. Four Star went along with that situation. Mm. Was, there was no way to like. I don't. I don't really recall. It just all kind of. Oh, because yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. Ended all at once, but this damn. is something we could talk about if you and Mike come on the show. We could talk about the exit from girl over to plan B. I'd be happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know me. I'm an open book. Okay. We could do that. I can we get, should. We, I should. Can, we should. I can be very open. Actually. Okay. Hopefully Mike will be on. Uh, let's see if we can get him on. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully he'll be, he'll you know, hundred percent. Yeah. He'll say something. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Dude, he, we won't be able to shut him up. <laughs> uh, go check this out though, man. Derek Glancy. Crail Tap that U.S. Sales Manager. Clip, that was so, man. If I did that, I would be. That'd be my under. That so definitely, that would definitely be in my part. Yeah. So MJ right there. It's crazy. You said that, Dubs. Mm-hmm. He used to work for Skate Park of Tampa, right? 
Tampa guy, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's why he was wearing that Tampa shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's all coming together now. Florida got some guys, bro. Shout out to Florida, bro. Dude, when I went out there, there's a couple couple kids out there that drove up from when I was in Des Moines. Yeah. F- drove up from it was a Chocolate Flow. Oh, this guy, oh yes, uh, yes. Keenan yep. and um, blanking on the guy's name. I'm so sorry, but um, killing it. Both of them. Yeah. 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 Dope, dope kids. A new another Keenan, huh? Yes. Shout out. Rad kid from uh, from Tampa. He yeah. ripped. He's yeah. super good, man. Do you remember the other kid's name that was uh, uh that drove up with him? No. Okay. Uh, it's a good segue into one of my videos that I just did. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube, Paul. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. There it is. The title of the video is I I screwed up the entire contest. And if you watch the video, it'll, it'll explain why or how I screwed it up. Now the, uh, the, the, the graphics are making sense to me now. See the screws? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And see the, and the, the jam up. Yeah. Yeah. But see the, the posters, Blockade. the posters upside ah, down. Even mm. nice detail. Yeah. Nice detail. It's upside down. I didn't. Yeah. It was a whole thing. Um, can we get you to smile in a photo ever? No, because this is, uh, it's, <laughs> no, would this, but with this, Chris would, is going to be all right, man. Would this, if I was smiling in this video, would do you think that would be better? Would it, would it bring the whole, would, it, would, it, would it tell a picture? Always, it, is always better. It, it would, helps. It would paint a picture right there? You know there? what? I tell you what, man. When you guys finally get on Spotify, uh-huh. I better see all you guys smiling uh, right By then, I'll probably be smiling. Yeah, you yeah. should have a big yeah. smile. Yeah, I, need, I need some, yeah. Ear to Floss ear. Floss teeth, you know, you know, white strips, you know, everything. Oh, just, all that. just smiling. I'm going to get my teeth fixed. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, we all gonna, yeah. We, man, we, we're all going to get fixed. <laughs> Trust <right>. me. <laughs> Trust me. Not neutered. Just, uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm getting my shit fixed. <laughs> Listen, no. if we if we want to throw that into the, into the pot, that's fine. Uh, you know, to each his own. Shiloh Katori, so good. She skates mm, for Toy yes, Machine. Yes. She's on tour right now with them. She's awesome. Kills it. She's killing it out there. Dope. Um, but yeah, to film a little video. So this was when we, I went to Des Moines with Tim, uh, for the street style open Mm -hmm. and, um, we just filmed our, our daily stuff and I was helping set up the, the events and stuff. So shout out to the border, shout out to Ryan Clements, shout out to uh, Clements tomorrow. Are you? Is he here? Yeah, he's here. Oh, cool. Oh, we should get him back on the show, man. That's a good one. Great. Did you see that Tory clip? Now they back side the bro. Tears, man. How so can I miss good. It? He killed that. Looking he... fresh off the construction site. Ooh. That was Chris chopping his head off. By the way, not me. No, 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 no. Well, you were. I was. I had to get the fisheye angle. I had it. No, you got the fisheye for the right the vertical. Mm. Correct. I had to get it for our video. Correct. Look at Tim right there. Oh yeah. Hey. Now, now I'm seeing it. Spot. Was that the good. clip that Tori posted? Mm-hmm. Dude, he he. Tim, you did a good job, bro. Thank you. Dude, he landed like 10, feet, 10 feet away from that and thing. he did it I mean, absolutely that's, perfect. That's T-Pud, man. Straight up. He never ceases to amaze me. Never. No. He is really a special no one individual. one loves skateboarding more than Tori. I'm not talking about just riding the skateboard. Mm-hmm. He puts his heart into every aspect of skating. True. He, his brands... His actual effort he puts into his skating and filming and mm-hmm. video parts. Nice mug, Chris. Dude, it's the same mug. I brought it with me <laughs> out there. You're the man. Shout out, Yeti. No, but Tori Shout is literally. Tori literally puts his hard work into every board that you were picking up at your local skate shop. He has touched that and in some way or another. Physically put physically, the graphic on. Physically it. put the graphic on. Like yeah. he's really in there working. So. No one's more passionate about skateboarding no. than Tori. Big That's shout true. out to Tori Putwell. He works really hard on and day one company. songs. Yeah. Straight up. For sure. But anyway, it's a good watch. It's funny. It's just a kind of a behind the scenes look at setting up all these events and just me screwing up the contest, obviously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um yeah. Put, I'd call put, it I'd call it sabotage. Sabotage? Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm screwing up the contest, see? Mm-hmm. You did a good job. Yeah, it looks like they have a really rad scene out there, though. So it's like, if they are doing this again next year, I would love to come and pull up and and check it out, man. They have the best scene out there. Yeah. It's so, man, the city just loves it. And shout out to Subsec Skate Shop 
Heath Kirchart owns the building of mm-hmm, Subsect. Mm-hmm. They got something upstairs that I got another video coming out soon that they got a, some secret upstairs oh, that's going to be okay. gonna shock okay. the world. It's gonna be, okay. I'm going to reveal some big secrets from okay. Subsect. It's okay. called a lumberyard. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> ha ha! Oh, I know about that place. You know about the um, lumberyard? Uh, oh, okay. I've been to Des Moines, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, sir. Shout to, out to the... Shout out to, uh, what was it, uh, Summer 21. Oh, I thought... Or May 21, yeah, I was there. I hey. thought you were, yeah. <laughs> lumberyard. You were just calling out in summer. On the main <laughs> stage. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I don't want to go... Uh, to You're this is, already, yeah. go watch it where we had fun out there the video's up on on my youtube channel go check it out it is uh it's a good time man and again we filmed all the little contests we got skate montages of every little uh contest because they had little events through the three days mm, leading you. up to the big contest you know they have the biggest skate park in yeah america i've been there Eighty-eight thousand square That's feet insane. yeah it's crazy yeah yeah yeah. You got to come out next year. Okay. Come out to the... To, uh, I'm Why inviting not? everybody now. Why not? Where are we doing a... Is that where we're going to do our collab video? We, I would think we would do one sooner than that, because that's I a know. year from now. Well, you know... Yeah, you got to do... That'll yeah. be like the I third or fourth. I would hope so. But you got to come. It's so much fun. It's so much fun, Please. Paul. Yeah. All right. Thank you. City we're of... Uh, gonna go, uh, Skate DSM. Skate DSM. Please bring P-Rod and myself and Duran and Tim and Raj and in Spanish. Kelly and Spanish. Yeah. It's a lot of hotel rooms. We'll wow, time. Yeah, dude, can, our hotel room overlooked the park. It was amazing, That's sick. bro. I mean, we could get an Airbnb too to help you mm. know, cut costs. Okay, whatever's cheaper, we're down. Okay, but yeah, film the contest of <clears throat> the skaters out there. It was great. It was great. It was a great time. Thanks to everybody. There you go. What do we got next? I don't know. What should we? Uh, Rob Pace or Pocket Mag? Mm. Those are both good. Dude, Rob Pace. Let's just... Rob Pace killed it. You did. Got a lot of buttons here to push. There OJ is. Wheels part. Here, here, uh, let's just give a little... Uh, let's give take, a little we could to, put together a little montage. A little sample. Um, wow. That's cool. That bump. Dude, I love bumps mm-hmm. like that. OG, like SF Steez. Dude, hold on. I got to ask Paul... Talk Are you me. into but Dubs loves the quick yeah, that's just, quick bumps. That's not even that quick. I, I I'm into watching it. I can't skate a quick bump to save my life. <laughs> right. I can't. It's it's really difficult. For I me. find that hard to believe. It's, I it, think it, it's if really Paul puts effort into anything he does, he will do it. I appreciate your faith in me. <laughs> I do. I do. But I'm telling you like f- f- quick bumps are just my my nemesis. Okay. Yeah. So is this considered a quick bump? No, I'd call I, it quick. It's quick, but it's not as quick as some of the bumps that yeah. you've put skated it way, or yeah. you like to watch. Yeah, yeah. but put it. I'll, I'll put it this way: it's quick to me if you can't picture yourself doing something gnarly on it. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, if, but if gnarly or fakey is going to be next to impossible off of it, it's a quick bump. Yep. Okay. In my opinion, that makes that's total just sense. That's just me. That makes total sense because you don't really see too many gnarlies. Off like of if I seen somebody nolly that that gap much. right there, somebody could nolly off that. That's gnarly. But I, but oh, people I'll, are gnarly over, the, over that gap. People can. I have and definitely people can. Bezos bump. I'm just saying. I don't. I'm not familiar with that bump. But I'm just saying for me personally, it's a quick bump mm-hmm. if if I'm not doing something gnarly off. This of is it. so true because I'm not to no, cut please, you off, please, please. But like Van Owen bump for for instance. Yeah. That thing has been murdered left and right based on tricks, but none of them. No, I, not none of them have been nolly. Nolly fake. And if I if I'm mistaken, then I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm I'm wrong in this position. So, yes, in that sense, the way you described it is you're you're right, one hundred percent. So you. when I say Bezos, but not one thousand, one thousand. Oh, right. Here we go. Here we go. Damn. So when I say Bezos bump, it's the bump in Barcelona with the waves, ah, and yeah. then it's got the bump. It, you it doesn't have a a, a point where you know yeah. where to pop. Okay. But people do nollies off they of do. that. Yeah. And yeah. I think yeah. that that is psycho. For sure, it's a different type of uh, bump. For sure, it's not mm. a quick bump, but yeah, it's, it just has a different, um, different challenge to it. Yes. Would you nolly yeah. off the Bezos bump? I don't know. I've never been. You never been to that never bump, been, really? Yeah. Okay. I've I seen it. Uh, I've seen it driving by, but I've never been out physically on foot at it. Mm. Okay. Didn't even know that was the name of it. 
I didn't yeah, know that was I would the just call either. it the wavy bump. Yeah, in, that's what I call in it. Barcelona, yeah. this is the Bezos bump. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole different. This one, what I like about it is like the bar ends. So like to get used to it, you can go to the side and like yeah. get used to going. I'm a real tester kind of guy. Right. So I'd be I'd be ollieing on the side of it to to get a feel for it before I'm going over the actual bar. This yeah. shit, I wasn't really vibing with it, man. It, and and mm-hmm. everybody's done some really amazing stuff. Yeah. But for some reason, this thing was not working for me. Seems By the like way, I don't know who this is. We just pulled this up on YouTube. Um, but who's but done see, Nolly over this, my bad? No, people cab people, flipped yeah. over it. Mm-hmm. Didn't Shex cab flip over it? Yes, you're yeah, right. Yeah, I think it was Shex. But straight I Nolly think, um, or Nolly flip? Know. Apple Yard has done some Nolly tricks yeah, on yeah. it. I was there when Nolly, he broke his arm on it. It started to rain. He was doing Nolly back big spin. And you know how you push that down off a bump? You kind of are Ooh, leaning six. a certain way. He right when he ble- uh, bent down, he slipped out and boom, right into the bar. He uh, broke his arm. Broke his arm. Wow. wow. But see what I'm saying? Like it just rounds off. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so hard to find that sweet point. spot. Yeah. Yeah. But people and do. It looks Everybody far kills away it. Away from the uh, from the bar. So you got to be is. going fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, Stephen Lauer did the uh, board bonk on it. That's true. That's, That's insane. True. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is that thing? Like, just is some, it like a ditch or something? I don't know. Just it, some architecture looking thing. It's almost like, like a skate park, too, because it's this wavy, like, bump thing. But it, there's, like, water that gets in there, so it, like, has to deplete from there on, mm. on how it's made. So I don't know what it's for exactly, but, yeah, it might be like a park. city architecture, yeah. like, It's not a drainage cool thing? Kind of That's what I'm thinking. It's a drainage thing, but it's made to, like, why would they make a drainage no, thing like, like a, that? It looks like a washboard. It doesn't drain very well, though, it sounds like. <laughs> I don't know if there's another... <laughs> maybe there's something else we could see of the Bezos bump. Anyway, I, it's just um, it's just one of those things. It's not a quick bump, mm-hmm. but to do a nollie over it is very challenging. Definitely. But it's been done. 100%. It yes, yeah. it really has. But I always trip on you because of the quick bumps. Yep. I'm like, but I never do nollie know. off quick bump, but I definitely know how to handle a quick bump in that sense where... Here's some some stuff. Wow. So this is another Bezos kind of montage thing. Damn, damn okay. Oh, body burial. Oh, damn, that looked cool right there. Yeah, but it is. I'm surprised you never went there, Paul. Um, it's nah, kind of one it. of those spots Where you just this, go uh, to. Body burial late shove montage? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Tim only picks out the best footage to watch. <laughs> go me. into it. All right. That was cool. Sorry. That Was that Reese Forbes? It sure was. Oh, that was Lewis. Yeah, that is Lewis. Lewis Tolentino's all over a cow, man. <laughs> it's true. He, he has. Yeah. He did. He did. <laughs> there's there's Reese. Yeah. yeah. Bezos. Wait, okay. is this like a montage of this? Everything that's little, been done or not? A little montage. Nah, I'm saying everything. That shit would be like two hours For days, long. yeah. BA, Big Spin Flip? He Crazy. did, huh? Did he? Big spin flip it? I think did he? Did. Wow. I think he did. Dang, was that Baby Shex? There was, um, ooh, wait a minute. Was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick flip Indy. Was that? Billy Marks. Oh, that was Billy Marks? No, that's Shex, and then and you then got Billy Marks. That's Billy Marks? Yeah. Okay. The okay. double flip I thought that classic. was, um... I'm assuming that's Billy Marks. That, the Who style <laughs> yeah. looks like Billy Marks. For sure. Audio, flip, Rush. But... And that's one of his tricks. Mm-hmm. What's that? I thought it was, uh, looked like, uh... Tebow? Nah, that's no, Billy, no. dude. That's OG. Bastion. Mm-hmm. Du- backside double flip. Shout out to Bastion still holding shit down. Dude, the people who can use bumps can really blast out of this thing. Like, yeah. Tom. Um, mm. With the ill front side shifty flip. Shifty flip. Bah. <laughs> so Beautiful. <laughs> Respect it. I'm a Wes Kramer fan and all that, but you know, just respect the man Penny and let him, you know, let the shifty flip. (laughs) Let it live. It it ain't, and plus, it ain't getting done better than that, man. I know. Damn, he dog flipped it. Applesauce. Applesauce. Yeah, he did that very nonchalantly. Yeah. We need to do like an appreciation for Apple Yard or something because he. Dude, he has the illest. And back three, dude. So good. He's got the illest style. Yeah, just very good posture. There's, a There's the belly back big. So he broke his arm when I was there. So he there wanted with to them. do it again? I don't know. Because he, just... he touched his hand or something? And then... I don't know. We were Arto. there. I'm oh, sorry. Love Arto, man. Hard for mm. 
T pads. Tori can use a bump like nobody's he business. He really can as well. too, as well. Yeah, I think it's like he was just like a little skate park rat as a kid, and he just he was the worm. Yeah, the worm. The worm. Yeah, Carol, was that Carol? Yep. Not big, a kid. Frosty Flakes. Dude. That was so good. We'll get back to Rob Pace in a minute. <laughs> I mean, but we this got is distracted a, good, a little there, bit. There's a big uh, There big, it big, is. Flip. Yeah. B.A. No. Here we go. There it is. Get him. Who was that? Was that Stephon? Kiss, Jake Jake Stephon. Jake Jake Ruff. Ruff. Beautifully. Switch off that thing's crazy. Uh, Dude, that. he blasted right there. Get him. Kalis. Ooh, wow. He did that perfect. Bro. Yeah, wow. Kalis can use a good bump, too. Mm -hmm. All day. Oh, uh, oh, Gustavo Tunison. I Gustav. love this dude. Gustav Tunison. This is hard to see with this uh, VX footy. Gotta look for the man bun. That was uh, a weird uh, one. It was like a late shove it, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was like a late shove it shifty. Yeah. Shifty late shove. Ooh, Bobby de Kaiser. Dude, that, look at that. Perfect. That was incredible. Swiss, Swiss Trey. Damn. Bah. Who's this? Who did that? I don't even know. That, that was me. Was. That was Tim <laughs> Olsen. God damn. Boo. Laser butters. Yeah, that was super. Dude, cool. I was just with Boo in the Des Moines. He was so, there too, man. so so Wow. To Jeez. Forgot about all this shit, bro. There, there we go. go. There it is. Ugh. Who's that? Shex. Get him, Shex. Yeah. Shout out to that little montage shit. Let's back to um, Rob, Rob Pace. So a little much. bump brought us somewhere else. I know, but it was worth it, though. Really was. It was so worth it. He's gnarly. <laughs> that balloon. Yeah. That was... Oh, G I... spot. Yes. Dude, this I saw. I didn't know people were still skating this thing. I didn't, it, had it looked no like idea. it. They did some work to fix they it. Did. It looked like it, but um. Did a perfect gnarly flip out. Speaking of Tom Penny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, when I first went there as a kid, I was like 15, 16 years old. This was while Tom was still not on the scene, nowhere to be found. And I went to this spot. And this is the first time I had this reaction with a physical skate spot. Like, to me, it was like I was meeting Tom Penny. It was like I'm on the hallowed ground. He wasn't even like, there. I, I, like, I laid on the step just like Tom Penny landed here. Like, where he, the one where he the ollied and went down, down, and then he kicked up. Like, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. on that landing, I laid there. And I was just like, oh my God, Tom Penny landed right here. Like, <laughs> so tight. Like that, that, that was the first spot that I was starstruck, like as if I was meeting a physical person. Did mm -hmm. you ever go to the chain into the bank? Never been to that. Me no. neither. Me neither. I would love to. I wonder to, if it's still there. I don't know. I don't think I've ever been there either, but I don't think I would skate it. But this has so much. I mean, Cream Campbell. Ro Ronnie Krieger. Ronnie Krieger. Yeah. Funny Penny. story. Please. I, you know, at the end of trilogy, when they show Krieger switch tailing it like four times mm -hmm. in a row. Actually, never mind. That has, that's that was cool, but uh, <laughs> that wasn't what I was talking about. There was a clip in that same credits, and Krieger is talking to Tom Penny, like he's talking. To him. I remember like Penny had his hand on her shirt, like, like <coughs> nodding his head, and Krieger was like talking to him. And I was like, you know, back then when you're a kid, you just see your favorite skaters talking, you think everything they're saying is so epic, right? So one time, you know, I'm in the game now, and I'm hanging out with Ronnie Krieger, and I was like, I always wondered, you know, I was like, yo, Ronnie, man, you remember that scene, you and Tom, you guys <laughs> talking at the spot? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, what were you guys talking about? He's like, I don't know. And it was just such a letdown. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, like, oh. like I thought they were, like, think. talking about the most epic thing in skateboard universe. and uh, It yeah, was probably just, just like... Just, Yo, man, where do you want to go eat yeah. after this? Are we getting a beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This? What are we gonna go do? It was nothing highlight, yeah. highlightable. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just like, just I don't know. Oh, you got the switch tire. You gonna you gonna flip out of it or whatever? That was just, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Damn. A let, little let down. Yeah. But regardless, it was cool to see him skate in this spot, in the uh, in the edit. I was like, damn. Okay. Oh, gee. Dude. Spot. Yeah. This is a better. You can kind of see it a little bit better. Where it's a good Penny. angle, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. What where are they at on this angle? I can't remember the layout exactly. Mm, I've never been there, so this is the first time I've seen this angle of it. He's standing that on I top can of think something. of. 
This is the, um, oh yeah, Tim's got the thing for the Krieger. Can we get that? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're talking. Like... Wait, is it? It's coming. It's coming. Over right here. Yeah, during this. Oh, he's standing on top of that thing. What's yeah. that spot called? Oh, uh, uh, I forgot. Like, they're all just kicking it, right? Like, that's legendary. Mm-hmm. But th this isn't the scene. It was probably that day. Mm. But yeah, Kareem sitting next to Tom. Like, or is he, that Clyde? No, that's Kareem. That's Clyde, day one. Yeah, oh, Kareem, Clyde. Kareem was just in the front. No, no, but they were standing and talking. Mm. I think that's in this part. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm. And like, he just... He just fall. So he's standing on that wall right there. Yeah, that's, that's what he's where doing, the yeah. camera is. It's crazy. Just four times, and he just finally just gets a little... Clyde and Kareem. Mm-hmm. What a session. Yeah, Dude, yeah. look at how dope Legendary. they dressed. Legendary shit. The gear. Right? Ron, were you were you skating around with these guys during this era? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, well, right where often, were you? Right? This was like no, mouse. I was, I was this not like, there that day. This is like within like the mouse times, right? Um Yeah, like Yeah, because they, yeah, we, when Menace was filming for their video and we were filming, like they it was definitely simultaneous and they were they were like they would be at spots when we were filming, and we'd be at spots Damn. when they were filming. So, mm -hmm. did you see Penny during these? I these never eras? saw Penny until later. Yeah, I didn't see him in these times. Who's that behind them? I don't know. It's hard to see. And this probably just like a kid just chilling. Like I can't believe I, I'm sitting here. Like, you got Cl wait, Clyde, Kareem, Tom, Tom and, and Ronnie. Ronnie, and who else is up there? I don't know who that no, is. No, there was somebody else sitting down. Day one was sitting over here. Yeah, yeah day yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But I, I want to know, like, are those just two kids who just happened to be there that day, and these dudes showed up? There's day one. Is that one. Ty laying back? No, no, I don't no. Know who that is. And wow. Sometimes bring. Sometimes people bring their homies. You know. Damn, that's that's who's, who's homies crazy. were that, or who is that that we're missing? Yeah, maybe it's the homies or just like the local kids over there. Was that a young Ali Balala, maybe? Hmm, wow. I think he was there at that. I don't know. Maybe. Just like, and he's just chilling. He's just having fun. Those dudes are sitting down. He's like, yeah, just this is fun. I'm having a good time. Let's just do it. <laughs> Who's filming this sock, you think? Yeah, for sure. Think so? Possibly. I mean, he was, that's he was yeah, filming that's everybody. Yeah. I mean, either sock or... I'd have to watch this again. But maybe the voice. It's probably sock. Is he talking sure. with it? Look at Ronnie yeah, is just finally, going crazy. I think this is the miss right here, but like steps off and like, oh, oh, oh. He could have, dude, so nonchalant. Bacon for you. Thank you for the love. Much love. Hell yeah. Good looks, bacon um, for you. I'm 30 and literally me and all my close skate homies have been motivated by P Rod. Real talk, man. I'd love to P Rod and all the homies in the chat. Let's go. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you, bacon. Bacon for you. Bacon for you all, 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 all did another one, too, up here. Let's see if I can get this uh, scroll back a little bit. There we go. Bacon for you is 69. Oh, whoa. P-Rod in the building. Definitely one of my favorite skaters, but also such an all-around good dude. You don't know that for sure, but I, I appreciate I can, the assumption. I we, cannot <laughs> confirm or deny that, let me tell you. We could get stand. I could stand there. <laughs> uh, love everything else he's done and he's doing for skateboarding. OG. Oh, Thank you, my brother. Yes. Sorry, I didn't see that first one. Bacon for you. Kula, you better set your game up. Uh oh. Man. Uh oh. <laughs> we got a um, bidding war going on here. No, I'm just well, let's go back into uh, Rob Pace. We get so sidetracked. Fuck, here. Rob, he's just been hitting certain spots. They've just been throwing us on, on some tangents. It really has. I love that, though, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. That was dope. That's good. What's your favorite trick, Paul? That, like, like it, you think that it looks good. I'm gonna tell you mine. Front crooks. Yeah. Backsmiths. Yes. Just the body language of those two. The body language of a backsmith. Like visually. Yes. Very good tricks. And you don't do those. I don't. I do. I do fakey front crook. <laughs> fakey front crook. Yes, but, but not a not front crook. I've never done a backsmith either. I mean, never I think back tail always looks nice and steezy. Mm -hmm. But I would say for me, the, always growing up as a kid, like the most coolest looking trick to me was back nose blunts. Mm. I really liked just a good back nose blunt. You can't go wrong with the body posture of anybody doing a back nose blunt. Right. It's going to look good regardless. Yeah. Right. Look at this 50-50. Man. I'm telling you, man, people are just 50-50 any, any rail it's now. It's literally going insane. For it. going it's insane. For it. It's like we got to get the longest, the biggest... 
I just gotta Real. get on. I'll just like, on. get on. It's a family show. It's a family show. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Rob Pace. Yeah, he did that. This was crazy. There's, yeah. there's a back. Like, Smith. where are you finding these spots? Yeah. <laughs> and then go down this gnarly little. Yeah, that was dope. Oof. Get some speed out of that thing. Mmm. Watch the body posture here, backsmith. Is it backsmith or from feeble? Yeah, I mean, we can. Yeah. It's another one of these yeah. goddamn debates. I don't think mm -hmm. so because he he approached. Would you call the first rail a front side fifty fifty or back fifty fifty? It's a it's a front fifty fifty. So he got on front side. Yeah. So then I would I would say the side he came on mm. was the side which you call it. So in my so opinion, if be you a front were people. if you were doing a if you were skating a rail directly and i went into blunt and you went into a backsmith like if you were skating it head on then it's debatable for sure hmm. but, but this is head he, on but if he'd uh, no because he he's ollied, coming from front side. well he, he all front frontside on to the first one onto so the front already and now side. but but he's now riding parallel he's now riding right yeah but directly he's still in front. on the same obstacle even though they're divided i get your point be. chris but he, I mean, anybody far, let's far see, let's point. let's leave this to the chat in the comments like here. if he if he got onto that back 50 if he got onto that 50 50 from backside then it's back 50 to backsmith this so looks he got on front side i think is front 50 to front feet this looks like a backsmith to me this the, well, the cement where he's coming from is front side. if he was coming from the other side of the rail then i get to backsmith but he's coming from front side and if he did the whole thing, it would be considered a frontside feeble, period. Yeah. Or if there was no gap in the rail and he just went 50-50 and dipped his front truck down, it'd be 50-50 to front feeble. Yeah. Yeah. Over Smith. I, a lot of people in the chat are saying front, or it's just a, a feeble, 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 feeble. Uh, Chris agrees with Chris, 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 Chris agrees with me. No side, cool is uh, staying objective to this. Mm, neutral. I don't know. I don't know. I it's front these, feeble. It's a front feeble? Yeah. Okay. If, yes. like, think of it like if, if that was a coping of mini ramp, whatever, and you went up to do a front side 50-50, mm -hmm. and then you went to do a like a, a front side feeble. Right. You know. Yeah, it's pretty. It's the same thing. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Regardless, whatever you, we, the description is, it was really good. We have <laughs> some of these d debates on the show because there are those tricks that you're just like, no, yeah. it's just, it's... What was the other one we were having? It was a nose blunt. It was yeah. like on a nose blunt, but it, yeah. but it was. Uh, Why can't I think right now? It was. Uh, I can't think all shit. But everyone seemed to chime in on there, and everybody on here chime in. So it was a debate, but I would argue it was a mass debate. So we were mass oh. debating. <laughs> oh sh! Damn. <laughs> okay. We're fly. I get it. Man. I get it, Paul. I get it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a dad all, joke, we but like it was, it was a, right it was like an inappropriate dad joke, right? <laughs> this episode Sorry, was, yeah. I, had, I had to do it. It was right you know, there. It was an opportunity. Mm. We're getting flagged. You miss every yeah, shot you don't take. We're getting flagged, <laughs> is, uh, We're no, literally getting what, flagged. What's, what's inappropriate just, about just mass joking. debating? It was a ma we were mass. <laughs> we're mass. We debating. all were. I guess we were all involved, but <laughs> it was a mass debate. Definitely all day, all day. We're we're mass debaters. You know? Definitely a dad joke that would be like in a wedding and wouldn't get like a, a good laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be kind of like awkward crickets. silence. Yeah. Well, either way, <laughs> see? Bl Blueberry knows what's up. Oh, Blueberry's on one. <laughs> well, dad oh, jokes, Blueberry. you know? Well, my dad jokes, my, my the jokes I got from my dad were a little different growing up. So, you no know, doubt. I come from a I different mean, type of dad joke. Yes, yes. I mean, he was an actual <laughs> comedian. Yes. <laughs> you know, that was a. Uh, Shout out to Paul Rodriguez Sr. He texted, me, he texted oh, me since we were on here. Steamy tortillas. Yeah. That was a commercial. I always remember that commercial. I do remember that. Was that a, well. El, El, Pollo, El Pollo, Loco. Pollo Loco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, we got to get you chicken. and your dad on the show. That would be incredible. Oh, he'd love. He'd yeah? love that. Yeah. He'd to do that. He would. First Spanish Mike and you. Yeah. Hopefully Mike shows yeah, up. Yeah, if, if, that, if that for some reason doesn't go well, right. then we'll, we'll okay. do it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We got a studio. Oh, how about everybody's favorite budget or buttery? Are we ready? Oh, budget let's go. or buttery? Here we go. Yeah, I sense another mass debate coming okay. on. Okay. <laughs> okay. There could be. 
This is the famous intro. There we go. <laughs> hey, he's smiling. Look at that. He's smiling. He had a smile on that. I love this. just ends abruptly okay budget or buttery we have a discord and people on our discord we have a budget or buttery section there and people want to know what jerron wilson thinks is budget or buttery so they Mm -hmm. put down their things and i take them off there and i put them on my ipad here let me Mm -hmm. just grab a quick grab a beverage Uh, this is gonna be good grab some popcorn if you no i'm good thank you We'll wait. We'll wait because yeah. this is a good. This is fun. This is a good time. You got it's some a, good ones. It's okay. We got some good ones. All I think. right. All right. Guys. Number one. Meatloaf. Buttery. You like meatloaf? I do. Okay. Yeah, it's the. Grandma used to make it really good. It, my my wife makes a good meatloaf. So yeah. We put ketchup on there. We put definitely put ketchup on there. You. But she, my wife makes a different type of sauce. It mm. has a, um, like. Oh God. I'm really? having a really a ba- hard time to remembering anything today. The happy sauce. Holy shit. I don't even think it's the happy sauce. Um, <laughs> but there's like a barbecue sauce Ooh. and there's a couple little mixtures in there. So Worcestershire. Yeah. Shire? Worc- oh, there it is. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a, okay. It's a little concoction. Oh, a concoction. And yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. Wow, I okay. dip it in there. I don't pour it on there. I just dip it. You a fan of meat, meat, uh, meatloaf? Uh, I fucks with some meatloaf. Okay, it's okay. uh, it makes me thirsty though, so I gotta have a nice <laughs> beverage. Candy. Salty all day. It's a salty meat. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Chris. Yo, <laughs> are you sure they're not talking about the singer? Oh, meatloaf. Oh. Oh, then budget. Oh, you don't like the singer, but no. the food. Yeah, okay. food all day. Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. I fucks with both of them. Yep. Oh. Mm. I, I probably know one meatloaf song. I'm right. sure he has one that I'm sure. Do oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Love. There it is. That's, that's you don't a, like him? No. That, okay. that no. thing hits different. <laughs> that song hits different. What about and, and rest in peace, dude? Obviously, yeah, I'm not trying to. Okay, okay. You know, wasn't a fan, but rest in peace. There you right, go. Right, right, there right, you right. go. Nice. <laughs> okay, number two, avoiding eye contact with someone you know, so you don't have to stop and talk to them. Damn, I definitely probably have done that mm. for sure. Um, I'm gonna say. Uh, it's buttery in the moment when you're when you do want to do that mm-hmm. but for the most part I think it's budget if you if you ca- especially if you guys really catch eyes yeah, and you act like you're avoiding it you're avoiding yeah, it yeah I know like, yeah. I know and I think that, trade that, show that, is, the, is the epitome yeah. of this yes I, I think it's a, a case by case basis 100% for sure you know you might know some people but some people you know that you're not a fan of right you know, like he wouldn't look meatloaf in the eyes. But, uh, <laughs> He'd be like, mm. Oh, and shout out to Mr. Karaoke Box. I see the Fight Club reference. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah, it's also like just a, a mood as well plays a big role yeah. into that too. Am I feeling right now the to to have a conversation? Right. In yeah. You know? When you go into a trade show situation, you got to be ready that you're gonna be talking to some people, and it might be some people that you might not be really all the way comfortable with yeah so True. you i think it's it, going with what paul said yeah. it's a it's a yeah it's a circumstantial thing situation your mind frame sure. changes once you get into those trade shows also you're yeah. already ready you're already roaring to go yeah you know like that the first couple conversations then starts to get you pumped and yeah. then yeah. all of a sudden adrenaline takes over and now you're talking to everybody now you're floating through yeah that. but yeah. if it's just like a walking down the street and all of a sudden mm. like oh there goes does right there like, what up does like right oh right. no i right. won't yeah. avoid that That's... you know what i'm saying like or you know just uh, you know a one-off situation you're just out in public you know at the mall or something you boom, oh what's up nice to see you okay good okay cool. that's cool i'm not mad at that at all it's weird the the, the type of, of thoughts that i have because like if i'm walking down the street and i see some skaters right i'm i don't know if they know me maybe they don't maybe they do i yeah. do i say hi do i nod do i say what give them a what's up or do sure, i not sure. do i if i nod and they say who the fuck is this guy yeah. weirdo right you yeah. know or I don't say anything, and they were. Yeah, Chris is a dick, dude. Didn't even say yeah. hi. Right. No, I feel you. I, I've definitely. I'm sure we've all experienced. Right. That. For sure. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. But it the, depends on if you have that. I, if you get that eye contact with them, and they're just like, and then you're like, "What's up?" Like, right. you know, then that's different. You mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. Um, the one that I really hate is like when you see something, somebody you know, and you're driving, and you're driving like, 
oh shoot what's up hey what up what and then you guys are driving next to each other like it comes <laughs> like you're just like we already set it up but now we're just staring straight because like it's awkward like <laughs> we already talked and like one's trying to speed up and then finally like okay like or if you get stuck at a red light with them like oh yeah, okay okay and roll the window back up and you're like fuck like Okay, somebody speed up, somebody slow down. So like, <laughs> that's almost when the get... eye contact you just stop looking. Yeah, you're like, okay, you I, I know. No, that's yeah. when like it, after you say hi, you just like you like laser beam forward until like okay, it's past. Shit, I'll make a right Oof. turn when yeah. I don't need to make a right turn. Yeah, just to avoid this whole this <laughs> no, whole. I get back right into driving mode. It's like I'm do what I was just doing before you just we met and had eye contact. Mm -hmm. So budget uh, overall. Budget. Okay. 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 What about number three, uh, folding your slice of pizza in half? Uh, wow. Take your pizza, fold it in and half. Just it. fold it in half. Yeah. Um, uh, if it's convenient, why not? Buttery. Okay. Yeah. I think, it's a, I think it's a good proper way to eat a pizza. Yeah. Pizza. I think it's buttery, especially like if you're trying to put ranch on or something, you like mm. dip in it. Like it makes it. Oh, yeah. It'll stay in. It'll stay in. It becomes a little butter, like. A little it also becomes a little scooper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A little, little yeah. Buttery. 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 What about number four? Custom license plates, vanity, <laughs> vanity plates. Uh, I guess I feel two ways about it, but if it's if it's something cool, buttery. Like, would you get yeah. like dubs? I I personally wouldn't do that. The dubs. I, I definitely would not do that. The dubs. <laughs> <laughs> definitely wouldn't do that. Um, I look. I guess it's a time and place, and certain people it, it fits them. Okay. Um, for me, I would not do that. I, I think I'm fine with a regular old plate Just that they give me standard issue thank you mm -hmm. um but whoever does it good for them and you know i can't say it's not buttery i'm gonna go ahead and say it's buttery go ahead do do you yeah okay but you wouldn't get one though. i wouldn't so get you it. think it's so that's kind of yeah, i know i should say it's but you're airing on like the side Ryan of Brian orlando here i should you say mad, it's bro oh i actually have this dude sorry you no no no, no please please this dude who lives a couple doors down from me uh he's got this crazy corvette like uh -huh. um and it's it's got like a, the wrap job on it is like a reflective like all different colors everywhere it's super loud car mm -hmm. loud literally and loud visually <laughs> and his license plate says you are like the letter you are you are weak <laughs> <laughs> you're weak <laughs> wow okay. yeah. all right well from that standpoint i'm gonna say it's budget okay <laughs> okay but, it, but it, I, again it's a case by case basis. sometimes like you have a clever ass somebody says something clever it's one of those like you're at the red light and somebody in front of you and you're trying to figure out what is it like you know, mm. I, I, it's like a almost like a riddle yeah, and then you finally yes. guess and you're like yeah okay I cool got it. gotta uh, decode it yeah yeah. 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 yeah yeah see i don't know if i'd feel comfortable like riding around with like crab on my you know what i mean like just some weird someone just sent me skate. a license plate someone just sent me a license plate that said dubs okay. and it was from hawaii uh -huh. i was like that's so rad but would I ever do that? Right. And I was just like, I was going to post it like, should I do this? Mm. And I didn't even post yeah. it because I yeah. didn't even think it was worthy enough. So, mm. uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, and you know what? I said, buddy, I'm going to go back. I'm going to say budget. Okay. You know? Okay. That's, uh, this is, this is all Dub's yeah. opinion. It's yeah, not, yeah. It's he, if he likes it or not. They're amusing, but not for me. By the way, um, uh, Jerron's new music album's coming out. And it's, oh, <laughs> damn. We're, Dub's we're, loaf. We're, we're, <laughs> we're right go. there. We're, it's Let's coming go. out soon. You got, dude, that's a good merge. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. He, see, this is AI. AI developed this right here. All you have to do is put my name and Meatloaf's name, and there you go. You just type in Dubs Loaf. And Dubs Loaf. This, is, <laughs> this is all over Google. It's trending on Google right now. Wow. Yeah. Dubs Loaf. That's great. I don't know. That looks like a man with a with a uh, personalized license. Yeah. Page. Holy <laughs> sure. This is Let's true. Let's call him D Loaf. <laughs> D Loaf. Oh, my Let's God. Let's go. Man. Okay. Um, oh, what about riding in the front? Oh, number seven. Uh, I'm sorry. Number five. Customized plate budget. Number five. Riding in the front seat of an Uber when there's... When you're the only fair budget, budget. Yeah. Yeah. Get, that's, that's get your ass in the back, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't get up there like you're lonely. Like, come on, right? They don't even please. want you up there. You ever notice how uh, like annoyed they get when like you have a group of people and like somebody needs us in the front? They're like, ah, oh. they have to move their shit yeah. off. Yeah, they, they gotta, keep uh, shit they on the seat on purposely. purposely. Yeah, like, like, all right, I'll put it in the trunk. Yep. Like, you know, hundred so percent. So Dubs is not getting in that front seat if you're the only passenger. Hell Definitely no. if I'm the only passenger. Okay. No way. Is it budget or buttery if the Uber driver is trying to talk your ear off the whole drive? I got a, a, a mood. That, but that's why they mood. have an option for you now. You can say, nope, right. I don't want this dude talking. Yeah, that's true. If they abide by it, hopefully they're paying attention. Yeah. 
They must. They want a good tip. But I think that's just budget. There are some people who are very gifted with having a good conversation, but sometimes it's just... You just leave yeah. me alone. Like just, yeah, and gonna... they don't get the message. You like mm. give them short answers, like "Yep, nope," uh, uh, and they just keep on going. They keep on. Right. Yeah. AirPods. Yeah. AirPods. Yeah. Put them in. I have to. Exactly. Yeah. It's another Seinfeld episode mood. reference we could have here, but hundred you know. <laughs> percent. Okay. What about number six? Batting cages. Buttery. Yeah. Uh, batting batting cages hit the ball. Why not? Whack that ball. Yeah, okay. dude. Different different uh miles per hour for balls and all that, right? Don't they they I have like I've, they I've have like they do they have like a forty what? mile an hour fifty mile an hour. That's your next video. Am I like next going to batting cages? Oh, I did. And then you can go batting cages. And yeah. I'm scared. Those things go fast. Yeah, but they but you should be more scared of a human throwing because there's more room for error. True. At least it's straight. Right. You know it's going to be straight. Can you program True. those things for curve balls, knuckle balls? I'm sure like the side more winders. professional ones, but mm. not just your normal one no, like at the Magic normal. Castle. At yeah, Magic Castle got that straight shot. That's just been there since 1979. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same one. I'm surprised it still works. Got to bring yep. your own bat and stuff. Okay, number six, batting cages, buttery. Number seven, taking a broom or cordless leaf blower to clean the skate spot. Buttery mm. all day. Okay, we didn't for do that sure. back in the day. This is not something that we thought about. We accepted for the the spot as it was, and or we would try to like. Figure out a way to to, to move the rocks. And leave. Yeah, you use your like, board, you know, right. or old shirt, you know. Um, but nowadays, dudes come prepared and filmers come prepared. Hell you know? Yeah, yeah. I seen Raj go down there with his broom and oh, all kinds Raj. of tools. Raj is a man, That's straight right. up. What the about but, the budget? The but oh, oh, wait, no buttery. Buttery, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, okay, we're, 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 this, this next there. one might not. This is the next one. I don't know. What about uh, paying for the person behind you in a drive-through? It's buttery. Sorry, I'm taking Wait. over. I, just, I jumped the gun. This does. Paying for the person behind you in a car. Yeah, say, oh, this pay. I'm going to pay for that person. Here's a couple bucks. I mean, that's dope. I think that's really dope. However, I've, I've never done that. Me neither. Um, maybe I might do that now just to like give, um, put out that positive energy and yeah. positive like paying it forward like, type of scenario. I guess you can because you're just like, oh, what's the. Just put their order on my car. Yeah, and yeah. then they, they yeah. just got a blessing out of nowhere, and they don't yeah. even know who I am. It's never happened to me. I've never done it. Yeah. That's cool. I think that's buttery okay. all day. Yeah, yeah there's nothing wrong with show. that. Okay. It sets, a, the, it sets the tone for some good little, vibes. Put good energy out there. All day. I've never thought to do that. I think that, yeah. Yeah. What if, to, what if I they, would have to look at, like, I'm going to do it. Like I would, I would envision this happening, and, and the car behind me was just, like, a really whack car. Right. You know what I mean? And it just looked like they were not having a good day. Mm-hmm. And I happened to be paying attention, and I saw that. Yeah, yeah. That's when I would be appropriate to do that. Or what if you get up there, and you're like, y'all, I'd like to pay for the pee, and then they're getting, like, lunch for the church choir or something, and they're, they're, they've <laughs> oh, got they're a like, 75, oh, it's like you pay $75 white person order. With, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like you're just rolling the dice yeah. to see what's happening. Um, Not the, it could be a church choir. It could be anybody, you know, I like can't the say Little no. League team. I can't say no now. They're already right. like, hey, how much is the one behind me? I'm going to pay for them. And yeah, like, that'd be funny. Like, how much would, is the one? Oh, would. oh, no, no, 20 bucks. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> just drive off. <laughs> Russell so, Hanson, sorry. Oh, no, please. No, go ahead. I just go want ahead. to no, shout no, out Russell shout Hanson real quick. I see you, man. I remember that. I remember that. I met Paula LES a couple <laughs> years ago and <laughs> threw a heel flip indie in front of him. He then used ninja movements and sounds to explain <laughs> it. <laughs> nice. Just what? felt very ninja like. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, watch out. Okay. Uh, what about number nine, the last one? When the person at the checkout in the store makes a comment, good or bad, about any items that you're buying. I was budget. I, I don't need you saying anything. I'm very <laughs> confident on what I just chose, and I don't need you saying anything. Yeah. Thank you. I always find it weird when people are looking at the shit that I'm buying. Yeah, of course. I mean, I look at other people's shit, but it's just weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, sure. you know. I, mean, I do that. I mean, at the grocery store, I'm like yeah. seeing what people are getting. Damn, he's healthy. He's got some good shit on his. Right, right, and then right. you see some other, like, you know, just bunch of dog shit. Right. Like, you know, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> to each his own. We're all doing it. Just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Don't say nothing. Please don't yeah. say nothing. You're not mm. gonna, it's not going to be good. Right. Okay. Well, that didn't work out too well. 
Remix. <laughs> this was, <laughs> that was that was a budget <laughs> remix. <laughs> How was that song? Was that song bu- gu- budget or buttery? Yeah, it was budget. Okay. Uh, that was great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. This is fun. This is good, right? Back We're just hanging out. Programming. Yeah. Talking about skate. Time. Talking about skate. I You're like fired, this. Kelly. Get out, get out of here. I always get sad when whenever the show ends. I mean, we all get a little bit, you know. A little teary eyed. Depends though. It's it's a mood thing too. I feel like sometimes I feel like I I I'm, I I don't do a good job, you know. And then sometimes I'm like, yeah, I just want this to end. I'm not. I don't. I'm, this is like, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. We're all our worst critics yeah, here. One thousand. Just true. about to say that. True. You do a good job every time, Chris. No, I appreciate that. But I think sometimes you just you know you know what I mean. You're mm-hmm. just like, ah, oh, I'm not. I mean, I've. I've love that or i didn't say that the right way that i wanted to say it you know just like tonight you're like i'm i'm having trouble recalling certain yeah. names and yeah. stuff like those those are you saying those is having an off night tonight no, <laughs> yeah, no. I, I am those are the degree. those are the nights on that the, i'm the remembering <laughs> certain things that i should be able to remember like dude this is just ridiculous sometimes like, you, like three things tonight and you can't remember right. like fuck is wrong with you but those Goodness. are those are the nights that i'm like i i'm like oh god okay i'm just let me let me get through this and let's yeah. just end this. And yeah. we've all there's always a show next week. I yeah. argue that you probably don't have that very often because I don't know if everyone knows right. it, but when I come here, I come here. We get here a little early, and uh, Chris is always preparing. He's locked in. He's focused before the show starts. Mm. He's like he's he's on his shit. Appreciate man. you, man. Right. Appreciate yeah. you. I see, I see the professionalism. I see the the work. And then we have a little pep talk the before the show. I do, do a little. Uh, mm-hmm. Sometimes it's more in depth than other times. Like tonight, we just we didn't have too much stuff, so it was you know just yeah, say, hey, the loose run, show. Like the run whatever. a show. The run yeah. a show. Let me give yeah. you a little rundown. Yeah. We got Dur- Jerron at the batting cages. He's just uh, <laughs> he's eyeing that curveball. Right I'm all right. I've never been the big baseball guy, but you know, mm. I can I can definitely hit the ball here and there. Okay, okay. Yeah. I feel like you <laughs> should have like, helmet. It feels like you should, with that shirt, you should have like a pack of rolled up cigarettes or something on there. Yeah, like where yeah. Yeah. where is this there. pulled from? Uh, uh, Charlie, like we don't ask random questions. Sandlot. Yeah. OG, no, no, the Sandlot, they wouldn't have a metal bat. But. We do not ask questions. No, he he he's a brilliant at pulling shit like this yeah mm-hmm. anyway that was just a impromptu mm-hmm. picture of him at the batting cages okay next up pocket mag 15 skaters five cities you know the vibes you know what you know the vibes uh niels bennett he's so rad man herman steen daniel yeah, L- shout out to the, the colonel bunch of other people patrick zinkgraf there primitive you know, there's the primitive. oh it's primitive yeah, yeah patrick on, zinkgraf man. okay oh, that's colonel patty right there boom he did that shit perfect i always trip out it's so funny nowadays worldwide skateboarding is at our fingertips um when we were coming up far from it yep hardest Very thing far from it hardest thing to see is other countries skateboarding yeah like and where they're at world report for yeah. that's yeah that's all we got right yep maybe a photo in a magazine of somebody that was in a different yeah. country yeah we weren't getting mags from other countries Mm-mm. yeah and i think because you know skateboarding was like mainly based here in the united states like we were always considered like to have the highest level of skating in the u.s but like once the internet hit and like it was easy access for everyone to see the level of skateboarding you immediately saw like high level skateboarding just boomed everywhere For across sure. the world. And even Definitely. the playing field almost. Yeah, right? yeah, like 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 it's crazy. I think that Definitely. I think I, I want to say that we were in the we were in the lead though because a lot of the videos were coming out of the states and everybody was trying to keep up with what was coming that's out. What, that's right. what I meant. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like okay, okay. We, gotcha. You know, it, it originated here and right. you know before internet we had you know our videos, we had our magazines and you know and it had to grow and reach other region slowly but they were always late on what yes. was always happening here Magazines they were like too, a year yeah. or so late behind depending what country you're in but now everything's up to date right yeah. and being up to date so everybody's seeing speed. everything in real time exactly. so we're all even, even play, playing even, field yes. of like of the progress yeah. i just find that interesting because um i mean even growing up around here this is where skateboarding was happening i'm seeing cost and i'm seeing you yeah. i'm seeing all these people but i'm, I'm still having to wait to see the level of skateboarding in the yeah. videos, you know, totally. I'm right. waiting for love child to come out. I'm waiting for plan B to come out. I'm waiting for these videos a little early on, maybe a little bit 20 shot and stuff like that. But 
Yeah, but you're still seeing, even though you're waiting, you're still seeing it way before somebody in Europe is seeing it. Yes, for sure. Hundred, back, you know, 100%. Back 20 years ago, 20 plus years. We're, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're waiting for somebody to bring that video on a plane mm-hmm. right, right, right. over there. Or Some the distributors, distributors getting to, in. To ship like, it out, right. In such a small like quantity. It's yeah. not like it's like... Yeah, and then also there's the whole thing of like, you know, the... The tapes don't sick. play in the same VCRs yeah. and all that. They type got of thing. a yeah. beta. No, not beta. Max. VHSC, Pow. Pow. whatever. Pow. Pow. Yeah, never understood Pow, that. Yeah. Yeah. That spot looks so sick. I've never even seen this. Where is this? God, it's somewhere in Europe. Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. And the spots. That's what I get jealous of. Yes, the spots. Dude. And I feel like things aren't as busty over there. Mm, like no. you don't get kicked out as. Bad over there, and like, and if you do, like there's, there's more sp- weekday spots. Mm. Yeah, all day, yeah. all day. I feel like also so, like, spots would be bust in Barcelona, but there's 80 more spots you yeah, can go to during yeah, the week, so yeah. it don't even matter. Yeah. They police their own spots though too. They will pour some water on you or throw a fucking a, a bucket on you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so like at apartments and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will dump some shit on yeah. you. <laughs> they are not playing around with that shit. They'll throw like little, yeah, that little was ceramic really plant fucking <laughs> tiles on you, and shit. right? Nah, this is cool, man. Again, it's nice to see what other kids are doing from other countries and the videos that they're coming out. So shout out Pocket Mag, always doing some some cool stuff. For sure. That's a long ass manual pad. That manual pad, I've had fun. I've had, is that in, that's in Barcelona? No, wait, where is that? That's in Barcelona. You been I there? Feel, I almost feel like I have. Oh, that nice. seems like a Christmas. I've never been, day. but it looks like a good ass. Looks uh, like it used to be also a very good ledge too. At mm-hmm. some point, it looks a little chewed up now, but it looked like a. This looks like a. I'm it's in Paris. Man. Okay, maybe. It's in Paris. Oh, Paris. Yeah, I've never been there. I've been to Paris, but not that spot. Not that spot. So you got some uh, primitive. Shout yeah, out to, yeah. shout out to Colonel the, Patty. Shout out, look shout at out that. to Worldwide Primitive, man. That's right, man. You did that shit perfect. Damn. Yeah, it was a cool video, though. You guys should go check it out. All the videos we talk about today, they're in our video description below. So click on it, give it a watch, you know, enjoy it with the music, all that good stuff. Get the full feel for it, you know. Let's go. Speaking of primitive, we, we actually pulled this because this was kind of cool. We can. Um, I think that your skate park right now, listen, I, I think that there's, we've seen skate parks in the past that have hydraulics do you see that park that has hydraulics yeah I, yeah, yeah just saw it i'll just see recently. that i'll see that soon i bet you're you, gonna be going I'll oh you're gonna soon. go you're gonna go or you're gonna get one in the park no I'll, I'll, oh I'll he's s- getting one in the park I'll see it yeah soon <laughs> on a, in, a, in a hopefully in a future episode i'll see you soon nice Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this. It. I don't know what this. This is very. I mean, this is very riddle-ish right here. I'm, I'm trying to decipher the code. It. I already get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell me after the show. Yeah. But I feel like your park right now is the most state of the art. Thank yeah. you. Park. High profile. That was the yes. goal. Yeah. That was the goal. Um, yeah, we wanted it to be like it was something that's never been had before. And when I say. There's more to it than I mean. It's a it's a skate park. There's stairs. Definitely. There's hubbas. There's a gap. But you have the the the, the LED lights. You could change. Lights, you can change the atmosphere, system, sound system. But also, projector. what people don't see in the back. Oh yeah, is yeah. the cryo chamber, mm-hmm. the ice bath, the lounge, mm-hmm. the pool table. You know what I mean? Like um, all the fun things. A few people have done a little couple. I think. Um, NKA did did a little behind the scenes yeah, stuff Nigel, there. Yeah, yeah, you should yeah. do one on your channel. I should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did one recently with also Tom Asta. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly. What I just did. Yeah. Yeah, but, here. Fuck it. I'll redo it for mine. Do it. Why yeah. Not? As you should. <laughs> well, you can get more in depth on yours. Yeah. Well, when we first launched it, we did it on the primitive uh, YouTube. And at first, I was like, I'm not even going to let nobody know about the back. Right. That's just all uh, about me. But then I was like, man, eh, what's the big deal? Totally. I think it's cool, man, because I think the back just shows. A glimpse, not only like the chill area in the back, but like the ice bath, the cryo, Normal the workout text, area. It's like hypervolts. Yeah, it's just yeah. showing that like this isn't just a place to skate, but it's a place to like heal, heal, and you showing know, showing that the OLD is uh, in effect. alive and rampant, <laughs> running rampant. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, Paul. Shout out my mom because she always uses that now. Really? She's like, oh, the OLD is setting in. <laughs> it's the OLD. Yeah. Shout out, Mama C Rob. Yes. yes. Hey Paul, 
Yes. Where, where does uh, Spanish hide the, the little slappy curb? Where does he hide it? Yeah, it's I saw not, him pull it's it out not the other day. It's not hidden. There we it just, is. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is like, uh, <laughs> I hate that thing. So it's always in the fucking way. Somebody's always pulling it out. And I all, and so like <laughs> he knows I hate it. So he's always putting it away or pulling it out. Like if, if he randomly maybe wants to do a 50-50 on it. But like that thing's so annoying. <laughs> I want. I'm actually. I want to turn it into a, just a ledge. Like put stuff under it and no, lift it up. Make higher, it a little higher. No, ledge. take out. What the, it's a perfect slappy curb. Mm. I know, but I'm it's not, a perfect I'm not slappy ready curb. For my OLD to die. No, it's Paul. OLD. It's not that rampant. Let's, yet. No, no. Let's <laughs> let's prepare. We need to prepare. Yeah. That is a. Uh, it's I'm a perfect about. height. I know it's a people. I, I, I get curb. it. People do love it, but like I'll be honest with you. I hate that fucking thing because it's so fucking heavy you can't move it without yeah, you have to have solid. the thing it's so heavy like once it's out it's a pain in the ass to move it and then it's just like ah. Ryan Orlando says what's OLD it's, ex- it's exactly that old <laughs> we're getting old yeah, keep up with us buddy keep up with us Ryan <laughs> you got this buddy I have faith in you but it's rad I mean I think as kids that's our dream is to have our own private skate park every skater out there fantasizes about this shit and you you made it also come to fruition you know well uh, many of us like all everybody involved (sighs) made this come to fruition so it's a group and we appreciate you guys like really like allowing just a lot of people just to come through and skate well i I I appreciate that man i just i like my goal i just want to surround myself with people who still love to skate man because uh you know keeps me keeps me motivated keeps me going this is why we're all here at the end of the day so of course like you know but it's just gracious of you to end and the primitive squad to like just open the doors like that you know what i mean like well, it's not it's it. not just a personal training facility no, for you guys you know what i mean no 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 not at all like it's it's any uh, all the homies are welcome yeah and you do uh, cool stuff there too i mean you'll You've done. They've done uh, some SLS stuff there. Yeah, 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 they've yeah, done yeah. a few little different things, and definitely, I think yeah, it's, no, it's cool, just... man. You got a little cool thing going on, man. Hey, Roki, Roki built that right. Bro? Yep, yep. Shout out, Mike Roki. Oh, Roki, big shout out, Roki. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. He did a great job. He, he did, did a great. He did this one. He did Shane's park. Mm. He, did he, diamond, did, he did. He even did park. my old park. Seriously, he did my old park too. Yeah, and and Diamond Park. He's mm-hmm. he's a he's a masterful. I used to kick it with him in Milwaukee. Builder. Nice. Yeah, man. Shout out there. Mike Rokey. Yeah, he's the man. When we went to Woodward, PA, mm-hmm. uh, Sheckler's... He was there building. Or he built that new... Sheckler's Park. Yeah, he yes. built that. Damn, he's but got some jobs. There was a debate whether that that pyramid in Sheckler's Park is exactly like the pyramid at your park. It probably is. It's damn close. Because mm-hmm. he has all the dimensions of everything, right. so he pro- it probably is. But how many people were in this debate? I mean, it was just us that were, you know, there. Okay. Um, okay. Was, nice. They said, oh, was this, it is, mass? this is Paul's, this is the, the hip that's in Paul's park, gotcha. the pyramid. Okay, okay. And so, we were like, really? We're looking at it and being like, is this, really? you know, sometimes you can't, it's like, you're like, I don't know. Is yeah. this really it? Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't been there, You'll but have to I mean, I know Roki built it and he has all dimensions. So I would imagine if the question is being asked, I would guess it probably is. Right. You know? A big shout out to Roki. Roki. All day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Primitive Skate Park. No, I'm stoked that you but have thank that, you. dude. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hyped. I'm glad you, you've come by, man. Yeah. That's... I haven't skated it. Well, you're always welcome I to. Know, you know. I should. I gotta I'll pull out there. the slappy curve for you. Yeah? yeah, you haven't skated it, but yet you're going to you're gonna bust my chops over the slappy curve, but you, 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 don't, yeah, but you, you can't even use it, man. If you had some for me, I would. Uh... I have something for you. What do you got? A couple of I things. got the sloppy curb, but it's things. too high though. Raj so the hasn't curb, been there either. It's a sloppy curb. We need a lower. Hey Chris, yo, I'm glad I'm not me at P Rod's Park. Oh, I know, thanks. but what am I gonna like? That? Oh God, okay. You're gonna cryo. You're gonna do the cryo chamber, and that's it. We we got a long marble edge is just waiting for a beautifully balanced front nose grind. Oh, day. <laughs> Perfect, Ducky. Come by, use the bathroom. Maybe I'll stop by. Yeah, no, I got a good facility. <laughs> yeah, I know too. you do. <laughs> Case I'll take a shower know. there. I'll just move in. In case no. you just had a, a pizza, a full personal pizza, and you need to, you know, you need to lighten, lighten Light, up. Lighten the load. Yeah. That's the place to go. Mm-hmm. We got you. Okay. We'll take care of it. Okay. See, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm interested in. Ooh, he just wants a couple <laughs> of those things. I'm looking for the slappy curbs. 
<laughs> there you go, screwing it up again. <laughs> no, what do you mean? This is, the, this, is the, this is my dream park right here. You know, it used to you be what you have. You don't need 10,000 square feet for that. No, 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 no. Yes, I do. I need slappy curves with neon, with uh, <laughs> yes, lights I on do. Them, with, uh, with LEDs underneath. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do a slappy curve with LEDs. That would be Dude. cool. Like a, all like a, a plexiglass or whatever, like the kind of the bank windows. Dude curbs with lights on the inside that would be amazing oh. let's go next that's the next level. idea next level who's gonna, who's gonna fulfill that idea not moi I wanna remind at least I not like yet it. Paul does not like it not yet no we're, we're, trust me I still like ollieing up to my stuff yeah I got, I got it so out of yeah, the habit I got so out can. of the habit I know well, dude, you're letting it just trickle away habit, it's going man. away come on oh. let's get you back in there I'm trying man I've been working out Trying so to get my legs back. You're working out. Oh. Yeah, you eat healthy. You take care of yourself. Uh-huh. You know? uh-huh. I'm trying to. He's right there. I, I slack off, though, man. I get in these weird, we like, ups do. and downs. Yeah, I know. We you just had the life reset, so. Yeah. You, um, yeah. He's, staying acc- he's staying accountable now. Well, right. I am, but I, I'm definitely going in waves. Mm. But on Monday, I have an appointment for people to come to my house. They're going to draw my blood. See where you're at. They're going to take oh. my full panels. and going to tell me, like, what, what foods? foods I should? I want to do that so bad. To or yeah. not allergic to? Yeah. Like my hormone levels, vitamin levels, min, all that shit. Like, wait a minute. So the, once I get that information back, I'll be so stoked to see. Like, okay, well, I guess no more eating this, no more eating that. Here's the vitamins I, I need to take. So I, we'll see how that hits. I want to do that so bad. Is this a covered by insurance or is this a no, side? This is all out, uh, side, out of pocket shit. Yeah, um, out of pocket. No, 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 no. It's not. In but what? it can be covered by insurance. I think. But, um, or you can come out of pocket, but I don't think it's that crazy. But, yeah, but this particular situation, mm, I will tell you, okay. is Nike, man. Nike really? is a phenomenal brand. Like, they really go above and beyond for their athletes. And I went to the LeBron James building mm-hmm. like a week or two ago, and they have this cool top secret lab in there, all for the Nike athletes. And, um, they have athlete support and they they can help you with various things whether it's training eating whatever mm. and i told him i was like I, I i try to eat well but i don't necessarily know if i'm just kind of generic like okay eat some veggies eat some lean meats eat some fruits okay cool right. but like i really want to know so like well we can help you like we don't have that here in this facility but we have uh contacts with p- other people who can do that that we're mm. associated with and we can send someone to your house and boom and i was like Yes, please. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you. Can we get a friends and family? Can I come over and we? Yeah, can come do on the, over. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. get jabbed. I would up, li- You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to do that so bad. Yeah. yeah. Because it, 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 you can tell right away yeah. what you're. Literally, you need this, your body you need that you need. Yeah. Because yeah. you could be eating Fuck. strawberries and kiwis and broccoli all day long and not even know. Like you happen to be deathly allergic to these, and that's why right. you feel like shit all the time. Yep. Yeah. You know, depend on your body and whatever. Like, I mean, the thing is, is I can feel that sometimes. Like if I have a pizza at night, like the gluten or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like sure. I, I wake up kind of hung, food hungover. Yeah. I'm like, oh God, I should have sure. probably eaten that. Yeah, yeah, for know? sure. Yeah. I just saw something really fucking um, eye-opening that Dana White just did. And if you don't know, he's like the UFC like owner. I'm pretty sure they know. Yeah. Well, long story short, this dude definitely was going through it with his health and how he was feeling. And he did just what you did, but he got this guy that was pretty much known for whatever you were doing to abuse your body and whatever state your body was in, he could get you right out of it, but just exercising food. Yeah. Wow. Right. And I thought that that was amazing. So <laughs> well, really, he yeah. was, uh, uh, Dana White was on all types of medicines that, you know, were prescribed to him. And, you know, with some of these medicines that are prescribed that, you know, they're, they're side effects to a lot of these things. Yeah. Whereas if you get yourself into the right position and just feed yourself what your body is actually yeah. wanting. Yeah. It's like a night and day situation. So now if you, you go, go peep what he said and he's like pretty adamant is like, I, I hate to say, it, but he's like, I'm never going to listen to any doctors again. But yeah. we see he's this, like, I'm going to yeah. go and yeah, get my whole sure. panel, like yeah. Blood, and done, blood yeah. panel and see exactly what is going to be good it's for right me there. and do that. But we see yeah. this time and time and time and time again. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, if you just, just eat and exercise, yeah. you're, 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 you're halfway there. Yeah. Yeah. Food, they say, food is medicine. Exactly. Yeah, food is your medicine. Yep. The problem yeah. is, is there's yeah. so much bullshit food that of the course. FDA passes sure. for okay. us that, 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 that it, it harms us. Yeah. Especially you here in America. you think there's any nutritional value in a McDonald's hamburger? 
No. Like, it's crazy. No, no. no. It's it's definitely designed to hit the dopamine and, like, make you feel, like, good in that moment. But, um, like, and I don't know if it's done strategically or whatever, but, like, it, it takes quite a bit more effort to, like, eat well. Yes. Yes, and it's not 100%. cheap. Can be a little more expensive, can be, or just more time intensive. Um, and not everybody has that free time, and not everybody has you know the. It's expensive. The yeah. It really is. I mean, I go, I go through. So I, I, I go through. You know, I, I ride the bike in the morning. Mm-hmm. I do the light in the eyes, Huberman style. Um, um, I do some weightlifting stuff, and then I go on the trip to Des Moines. Of course, my whole. R- r- oh yeah, when you trips out the, trips. Out the but door. then to get oh, that back. And then, you know, a couple of days later, I'm home. I'm still trying to get out. I'm, I'm now I have all this work to do and everything. So I'm a lot, but I feel after you feel yeah, it, you're like, yeah. damn, I went from, you know, you know, chicken, sweet potato, rice, apples to like, mm-hmm. you know, there's this place called Buzzards out there, chicken fried steak. And <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? And then I get back and I'm still kind of on this like yes. downward spiral. Yeah. 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 And I, I feel horrible. Yeah. hundred percent. Horrible. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. So with all that being said, since I have that appointment Monday and they say it oh, takes yeah. about you, a bro. week till they call me and like walk me through mm-hmm. it, I'm kind of making this my last hurrah. I'm kind of, you know, eating a little bit, you know, because I know I'm going to get told <laughs> I can't <laughs> eat a bunch of this shit. So I'm kind of just like, you know, let me just let's see, let's see. Or, order the Papa John's until I'm told. Right. As far as I know, maybe my body's built and it's, you know, it's supposed to be good for Papa John's. And like, maybe that's what makes me. Everybody's different. <laughs> Everybody's different. <laughs> you could be the garlic sauce and the Papa John's that's making you, you know, do the neck. Yeah. So, know? so everyone's different. So until yeah. then, you know. Well, congrats on that because I am jealous and I <laughs> want to do that so badly. Yeah, so that guy I that think you can, Chris, like I, I don't know for sure, but I don't think it's like I think it's it's probably expensive. more than I could afford. It's probably, it's probably oh, not to get the test and just no. the panels, Dude, no. No. blood tests, all this stuff. They come to your house. It, 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 well, you all in all, to, all in all, it's for your health, your house. Yeah, and but, it's gonna be like let's just say like seven hundred bucks. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, even that's that. still a lot of money, dude. Sure, yeah, of it's a lot. It but really think is. about this. Think about your health. What's more, the health bills that could possibly be down the road that right. like are that because you're you know shoving pizzas down your face for some reason all mm. the time, or or spending that seven hundred buck. It's almost like an investment. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, it, not almost. It, no, it, it literally it is, is investment. One hundred percent. So that dude that helped Dana White, his name is Gary Brecca. Mm-hmm. If anybody, just go check out this dude. He is, is is insane on what he can do in a matter of eight to ten weeks. Okay. Yeah. It just takes if you, a little if you, bit if of commitment. If you listen, if you listen to them, yeah. right? Discipline, if you listen to them, it's true. Straight up, like it's it's a game changer. Yeah. Food, exercise. Just go out for a walk. Yeah, don't. I mean, everything I mean, in the something is better than nothing. I go on these three mile walks. I feel good. Yeah. Anyway, everything in the grocery too, in the grocery store is just fucking crazy, bro. I and not everything, but I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say a good seventy percent. It has preservatives. Every, everything. Take something off the shelf. Look at the ingredient list, yeah. and it's damn near the whole side of the box. Yeah, and yeah. if you go to Europe. It's crazy. It's none they, of that. They they'll have the same product, but it's ty- entirely different well, when you look on the yeah. back. Yeah, and it's crazy because out here we actually have to like look like is it organic? Is it organic? in Europe like organic? What do you mean? Because it's just what it is. You don't have to uh, look to differentiate see if it's yeah. what it is. It's yep. just not. That's just how we make it. Yep. Over here, it's like so you have to like go and then you pay an arm and a leg for right. it to be. You know, like I enjoy Whole Foods, but damn, it hits the pockets hard. Oh, dang. I well, think, but there's also well, stuff. Then you ain't going to Air One. <laughs> Not hell, oh my no. God, that is different. And there's stuff out here that that's that's legal, but it's illegal in Europe. I think yeah. I think Gatorade's oh, yeah. illegal out there. Like they yeah. don't have Gatorade yeah. because oh. of the shit that's inside of it. Oh, like, for sure. There's a. Um, isn't that weird though? Isn't that weird that it's, it's, it's illegal not, here? Like, go ahead, Americans, consume that shit. Kill yourselves, like literally. It's a slow kill. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean? Oh yeah. But it's like that's okay. Right. But it's also crazy that like we're finding this out and we know this, but like the majority of us uh, from the United States, like if all of a sudden tomorrow the government says, okay, we're banning all this shit, and we're doing just like Europe. How much of us will bitch and moan and kick and cry and be like, "Fuck you! You can't tell us what to eat. Oh, you yeah, can't yeah, like yeah, yeah. we have the freedom to make our own choice." Like we would be like. We're just spoiled brats, and we. Right. I see you on that. I see, I see your point. I see your point that. on that. Yeah, for sure. I heard that they're gonna uh, ban hot Cheetos in California, because some ah. shit they put in there. I hope so, because my daughter loves those things. 
Those definitely ain't good for you. There's a lot of no. stuff. If you go, there's, I think there's, a, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a lot of stuff that is plentiful out here that Europe's like, no. You're, yeah. You're, you're, oh, we, my we, God. We, yeah. we ain't lend that All in day. Europe. Yeah, All day. Sure. I don't even know how we trust the FDA to some point sometimes. I'm, mm. I, I really don't. Well, There's we, weird shit, pink slime, and well, it's not that we that shit? trust or don't trust it. We just got to the point where like that we're, we're getting satisfied and our dopamine levels are getting hit, and we're just kind of like, ah, fuck it, whatever. We're, we're already here, it. you know. What are we gonna do? Move to Europe, like, uh, whatever. Guess I'm here. We're yeah. stuck. We're we're and going we down a path to it, you know. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. Subscribe to the uh, health and wellness <laughs> podcast here with <laughs> with Crab Dubs and P Rod, mm-hmm. Free Rod. <laughs> we're all making we're all trying to make an effort that's nah, for sure but it, again it's, i think the point is, is just eat some good food get some good exercise At least a, a, there a you standard go. baseline take yeah. some vitamins i'm sure even uh a vons fruit or vegetable is better than a vons uh fucking frozen section mm. chicken nuggets you all know right. what i'm oh, saying yeah, yeah, at sure. least it's yeah, something yeah, yeah. You know sure. what I mean? yeah. all day when i was in barcelona for for a while i'd, I'd go every summer in bocadilla big bocadillos like just you're eating mm. normal food yeah you know they they oh you want ham they take the leg down off it's of the thing and slice the thing and put the leg <sighs> back mm. you know what i mean yeah. and people would be like oh dude you look really good yeah i'm like well i've just been eating normal food and the lifestyle and there, dude. you're walking you're moving your body like like yeah it's just also, isn't like McDonald's in in Europe like way better, better, like better, way quality? better. Everywhere, it's way better quality. <laughs> isn't that crazy? It's so just crazy to even say that. You know what I mean? Like America's supposed to be like the fruitful. Yeah, we all want to be here, this and that, and th- yet there's some corrupt ass shit going on to For the point sure. where you're just like, damn, why do I have to question my food? We're all money, basically. Yeah, and yeah, that, that's a but, sad thing. Money. But also, we're all we're all addicted in some way to but they met that made that happen this. yeah yeah okay and we're all victims of that addiction of like well, yeah. yeah spoiled american shit like you go to europe and the large soda in europe mm-hmm. is is the small <laughs> yes. here or even smaller <laughs> exactly. than the small yeah. exactly you know what i mean like 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 <laughs> you're they don't they don't see your fucking soda cup at the fountain that looks like that right in mcdonald's like no you ask you want your a large Coke mm-hmm. at in 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 England or wherever? It's this big. Yeah, no you know, ice. Just, right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty funny, man. We're yeah. in a very very peculiar time, and um, people are waking up and, and getting smart to these things because you know I, I'm social media is very powerful in that you know like I'll see some some hell shit on there and I'll be like damn. I'm going to save that. I might incorporate that to some degree. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to save that. Seriously. But it just, uh, you know, it, it, it does take an effort to, to mm-hmm. reverse that momentum of habits. It's it's It can be overwhelming. Yes. yes. Yeah. One All little day. thing, one thing at a time, one exactly. by one. And that's what I'm saying. Go out yeah. for a walk. Yeah. Just, start, just start somewhere. And that's kind of what I did. I yeah. I could feel, and I you could see it in the show, just pale, just out of, you know, eating just garbage, you know, and um, as soon as you start getting light, and it's getting your light night. Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. you're in a rush. Ah, it's late. I want to go to bed. 100%. Just, yeah, you always make excuses for yourself. But I look at it like skating. Like, think about it. If all of a sudden, if you never skate in your life and you mm-hmm. just see a pro skater and they can do everything, you're like, it's overwhelming. How do you get that good? But like, think about how when we started skating, you just started somewhere. You, yep. know, you learned how to roll, learned mm-hmm. how to ollie, little by little, enjoy the process. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, like, you finally been at it long enough and you got really good, but it's the same process. Yeah, well, you don't true. see the results overnight. No. You don't no. see them a week from now. You don't no. see them a month from now. You see them six months down the road, a year mm-hmm. down the road. Mm-hmm. That's true. the, you know, and that, that's the same shit with this. It's like, yeah. I'm working out all the time, but I'm not seeing, I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. see the, yeah. the results yet. Right. But again, I, I, I fought. I fought man. I got to get you, back on it. You'll, but, you'll yeah. be the rock in no time. That'd be right. amazing. Just Chris sh- Rock. P Rock. It's good. Like, yo, all right. He's doing something. I could tell. Shit. Okay. Last thing on the docket today. And we could still talk about some other stuff, too. We got a nine club sale going on on the website. Hey, we'll talk about go. that. We got that. Uh, you know, we got boom right there. 50% off. Get them. Up to 50% off, Paul, on the website. We still up got a couple. Two. Th- wow. Up to. Wow. Got a couple Impressive. things left on there. So go check us out, 9club.com. Let's go, please, mm-hmm. 9club.com. Mm-hmm. Let's go, go, guys. Show some love, support. I mean, all you guys are showing love and support. Oh, yeah, so we appreciate no that. We have the, the best community. All day. It's, they're phenomenal. They really are. Seriously. Yeah. 
You guys love are great. Them. We love them. Very appreciative. And thank you guys for welcoming me into the oh, community of here. Oh, dang. Dude, oh, so hell so no. Wow, so, Tony dude. Willie, lucky to be, be alive. Um, we see you out there, Stumpy. He's thank got you, a bro. cool name. Tony Willie? Yeah. Yeah. Gnarly skateboarder. Man, um, this isn't good. Yeah, we're only gonna, we'll watch a little bit of it. We won't watch the whole thing. Uh, it's 17 minutes, but you know, and he is pushing. Oh um, my lord! And he, he what, what was he trying? 180. 180. Did he's he's so been going like this. Did is he the, get close? Yes, he went there by himself one time and set up a selfie shot. And Jeff landed Wan it. song with the G unit shirt. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Um, again, this is gnarly. If you guys, you know, I mean, they, they put a, they put a disclaimer on the yeah. as they on should the front of this. as they should. This is stuff that you would see like on like that faces you're not supposed death. to see. Right. You know what I mean? Faces like, of death. Is that yeah, faces is of that death. Him? That's him. He's gnarly, and I. God. They show his slam like later, later, later in the episode. The the they piece. kind of go through his whole because he loves the gaps, the stairs. He loves flying He's through the a air. Adrenaline junkie, bro. totally. Mm -hmm. So he found this spot, and I, you know, spot. I'm just I can't. <laughs> you got to go watch the video because he tell they obviously tells the story better yeah. than I can right now. I'm just kind of, but this is five weeks after. Bro, he is a beast, bro. He Straight broke up. both shins, shattered his hip, broken hand, broken nose, metal great imprints on his forehead and three months after that he's he's rolling around on his board it's beyond impressive well it just shows the the ment the power of your mind right yeah you know obviously you know the healing and, the, and going to the hospital and all that, but like some people guys wired like this they'll heal faster than your average person because they have something in their mind this this will this str inner strength that like it's it's powerful really it, that's damn true you know what i tripped on the most out of this was they were skating a skate spot before they went here and he doesn't even remember getting into the car to go to this spot he doesn't remember yeah I stopping think... at the store on his way there he doesn't remember anything from that time yeah. that he was at that first spot yeah yeah i think the body protects uh, your protect, brain yeah yeah or yeah. protects trauma. your yeah, yeah trauma yeah for sure but not only the from the from the time they left that spot, he doesn't remember that. That blew my mind. Does he? Did he say if he remembers the uh, feeling nope. of the pain of the fall and everything? I don't think so. I, yeah. As far as I know, your body's in shock, dude. I'm sure where you're just like, yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Love me, I've, love I've, some Jeremy. I mean, Ray he Ray. fell three stories. I've skated with him a few times, and he just looks for that stuff. He, he does. He needs sure. that rush. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. He reminds me of like a new age Omar Salazar. Mm, that's a good, com yeah. Because Omar maybe didn't skate the same type of stuff, but like just personally hanging with Omar plenty of times, he would just do some shit out of the, like just hanging off the side of the Great Wall of China just for thrills. Mm. He did that. Yeah, he, did, he, he and he does this shit spontaneous, not looking to be filmed, not anything. And, and thank God sometimes there's a camera there. But he'll just, like, bro, like, yeah. he'll just do some of the wildest. I've been with him many times on many trips. It'll be a big building or roof You've or seen something. Some of this and stuff he just and, hangs yeah. off the side of it just to, like, get a rush and then climbs up. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. he just, like, guys who are wired like that, yeah. like, I'm sure he does in his daily life sketchy shit that we mm -hmm. would consider sketchy but it's just well, fun for him he he speaks kind of on that in the in this piece he was like he, some people are going to talk shit some people just don't understand yeah like what i like to do and what drives me yeah. you yeah. know like oh my lord yeah yeah no i'm cool man just give me a cigar <laughs> A cryo nice chamber and a, and a cold plunge. <laughs> cold plunge, like cold plunge, is my gnarliest thing ever. Wow, that pop show was crazy. Was he almost insane. bounced off his feet. Um, like, Whew. uh, yeah. Dude. Just give me a cigar, a little cold plunge, a little jacuzzi. That's my idea right. of a thrill. It's so insane, man. I'm, I'm just really happy that he's okay Same. and yeah. skating again because. Yeah. Um, I think Jeff said it in here, like 95% of the population would have died. Yeah. If, yeah, they, yeah. if they fell off a three-story building onto Guys a Guys like that, yeah, like like that shit. Right? 
guys like that, like, it doesn't phase them mentally as it might. Like, your average person, if somehow they were walking and took a fall that bad, it would have mm-hmm. been a traumatizing event if they survived. Yeah. But a guy like this, like, it's like, just like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, fuck. Yeah, it sucked, but I'm cool. I'm I'm healing and I'm ready well, to do it again. Gators are a different breed, man. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, I always, it's funny because. Um, and there's breeds within the breed. Yes. You know. Oh, 100%. But look at this gap, man. It's he said he went there like six different times, couldn't do it, and then just that day. But they, every time he cleared it, obviously, yeah, yeah. till that one. <gasps> and he skated it so. Yeah, low. that's crazy, bro. You can't be doing stuff like that solo. You gotta come pull up. With look at some, this. Some look people. at this. This is. <laughs> I feel and, like oh. in a weird way, him going there solo was probably like the most of a rush to him like the biggest rush the i biggest think he just thrill. said that nobody he couldn't find a filmer and he just had that urge. he was in the mood yeah what they uh, also thank you og um so after he fell the board the board came down. came down off the roof and landed like a foot from his head this is gnarly. I, anybody out there, like just watch this with you know knowing that you're going to see some gnarly stuff if you go to thrasher and uh, go it's check at, it. It's at the end, so obviously you know what to expect. But yeah. yes, yeah. I mean, God bless him. In a, in a, I mean, not in a strain. Like I respect the shit out of mm-hmm. people like this. Obviously, I don't encourage anyone to do it, or would never want to push someone to do that. But like, there's just some people who are just bred different, man. You know, your Danny ways. Your oh yeah. Fucking, there's just some people who are just bred different. Jeff yeah. Rollies or Heath yeah. Kerchards, these type of guys like for me, Chris Roberts. Oh, dude, I'm a different. <laughs> I'm a completely different breed. Trust me. I would stand up there, and I couldn't. I would have to crawl over to the side. To yeah, look yeah, over yeah for sure. Like I'm that's what I'm not. That I couldn't stand up there and do that and look oh. down. Yeah, I'd be crawling. I have no making sure danger bone in yeah. my body. I don't. I don't do danger. No. No. calculated calculated danger that's what, Maybe, what well but. jamie foy put it the best way he's just he's calculated mm-hmm. risk yeah that's sure. what he does him a shot nija even but nija's mm-hmm. kind of on that level too of like the death wish style right. but uh sometimes not the cal- brand like the literal mentality of sure, the death sure. wish uh sometimes that calculated risk can backfire too well, well yeah we saw his freak number, accidents he, you that's, saw we his saw west coast humbler. yeah he got humbled his west coast not humbler. like he's like some fucking like crazy conceited ass kid like i got this shit like no he he but that fucking fall bro the west, was it, it, were you talking about the same the fall? west coast humbler he, that was just unbelievable he called it the sonic the hedgehog because change was flying out of his pocket Who is to shoot jamie about? foy jamie foy oh when you yeah the 50 yeah, 50 yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like no i mean it's skateboarding you're gonna have accidents you, yeah how many people got fucked up skating a manual pad it's gonna okay. happen you know okay. what i mean like mm-hmm. it's gonna happen so is it, it that's the nature of of any type of physical activity you're gonna yeah. if you're pushing your limits if you're challenging where you're at and yourself you're gonna mm-hmm. have those there's no there's no way around it this but, isn't uh, really the best situation i mean we could probably find a better video tim but the west coast humbler i mean dude that was bad this is a, one of our edits that we put out for our instagram but just, ah, yeah, yeah, just yeah. the yeah the, change flying out of your pockets sh- scorpion everything everything and then he's like just that alone like grabbing his neck like and that, that was like, just the warm-up he probably was there to wanting to do something else mm-hmm. he was just probably getting a feel for it yeah but he calls that his west coast humbler <laughs> i feel that jamie's a beast bro big shout out to him and he 100%. is seriously a next level skateboarder that has so yeah. much control on what he's doing well he said it the best it's just he's he, he's very if you talk to Jamie Foy, you watch him on the Nine Club. Like he is so calculated yeah. in what he does. He is he's he's all about his the board dimensions. He's he's he is very he calculated. He's, he's aware of his skill set. Yes. He's aware of his level. He's aware of what he can do. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if, but even that being said, you got to be able to. You have to take a risk to push forward and get to his level. You yes. know what I'm saying? No like. Doubt. Mm-hmm. It's just that's just like that's a, just a human thing for 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 progress. You, it's always you're gonna face a point where it can go wrong, but like you calculate in your mind the odds, educated guess like most likely I'm gonna succeed, but like if this goes wrong, 
it's gonna suck. It, yeah, it can go wrong. Yeah, I I think slams are very interesting in skateboarding because, like we said, like I, skaters are so different. You know, basketball players sprain their ankle, they get carried off by their teammates, by doctors. They're getting back. They're in the locker room immediately after getting the healing process already yeah, started. Yeah, right? yeah, like, for sure. Night and day. And the skaters, it's so different. And I I, I kind of like like talking about injuries um, on the show with skaters because it's like you know people we all go through the same types of injuries too and if p-rod can come back from something then i know i can if somebody else can come back from some shit then i know i can like it's it's kind of a nice feeling to know that like yeah you know if i got hurt pretty bad i'm not alone right yeah yeah i'm a, I'm a huge believer that like your mindset makes all the difference in in the world right For sure right where wherever your head is, where wherever your mind's at, what you're accustomed to seeing, like we see other skaters go through this, so it's like yeah. I see guys go through that all the time, like, mm-hmm. but not if you're not into what we're into, like if you're a fighter, you know, in UFC, like you see dudes get elbowed, like, and it's just like another just day. That's like us taking a hipper, <laughs> know, right? You know, but like us, we're like, fuck, somebody elbows me in the face, like, oh, oh my dude, god, I'm done. Oh yeah, but 100%. To, for them, it's just like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's my job. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you're accustomed to that. You've, you've become callous to that. For sure. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, getting injured like an ACL or something, you, 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 not many people come back from that. It's all about going back to what Paul's saying. It's your mentality. Dude. Yeah. If you're like going to let that be like, all right, well, this is it, and have those negative thoughts hindering you. Well, you're it's gonna also be... where we're at also with, with the medical well, science. Well, for sure, for yeah. sure, yeah. for sure. A little bit of everything but right. really like think about 100 years ago 200 years ago 300 years ago the shit that was going on like think about all the efforts and mindset we had to get for humanity to progress to this point right to where we could just be like fat slobs ordering postmates and just filling ourselves with preservatives like think about how how much human progress had to happen and how much crazy injuries that we have no idea that people somehow bounce back from without surgery way back when before mm-hmm. they had the education some a lot of people died a lot of people sacrificed but like just, there was just a lot pe- people were just a lot harder mentally mm-hmm. like mentally just harder definitely you know and like as things get more cushy and comfortable we become mentally softer you know like we are a bunch there's i'm gonna say we there's a bunch of soft ass motherfuckers out here right now <laughs> straight the fuck up we're we're, yeah. we're not strong as we used to be back in the day by no. any means and now because we see it around us and it's so normal we think like oh no we can't like that's not something a human can take but no <laughs> you could take a lot more than you you realize you all can. day so all if, day if your mind's in the right spot all day and this is where my mind's at right now there you know what i'm is. saying there <laughs> is. We are getting there we are getting there i'm still be, not smiling i mean if i look like gonna, that i'd be smiling either you no i just had a intense workout i'm very tired i'm that's gonna, gonna go eat a piece of chicken and some broccoli that's yeah. that's actually rock's face and they morphed it into your face so oh is it yeah that's oh his, my bad that's oh shit face. i thought that was a uh, Go I have the same type of, of I have the Terra same type of, I got the same yeah. type of gym at my house. I was going to go eat some pancakes with peanut butter on them there later. You know? Wash it down with some tequila. Yeah, Chris Rock. There's a, there is already a Chris Rock, so I don't know. Where was that slappy that? slappy image? Oh, here's another real quick Tim here. Hey, hey there he is. Yeah. Anyway, what's the uh there's a slappy. Where's the slappy curb one? Oh, look at this, bro. We got the Ooh. Ooh, that, that oh. is lit up, lit. We lighting the sign up. We getting the slappy curb My with goodness. the little lights in there. Little that's LEDs. from the video game, huh? That's yeah, that's like AI creation. I have no idea where Charlie. Charlie's the best, stuff, right? man. Straight up. Yeah. Damn, you're making me want to go there right now. Mm. Straight up. I feel like Charlie's not even a real person. He isn't. He's at just this a point. computer. At this point, Charlie is not present here in this house. He's in Canada. Wow! Shout out, Charlie. All day. Dwayne the Crab Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne the Crab Johnson. Hey. Uh, well, what, what else we get? We still got some else? Well, we got this one too, real quick. We're going to just, because this, this was kind of sick, little pop up. Um, oh, yeah. This little pop up cool. shop on uh, in France. I thought this was cool because oh, awesome. I don't think I've Absolutely. ever seen a pop up like this. I thought this was very cool. 
dime and Vans Rowley shoe. Oh, that's a Rowley uh, thing? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Dime right? Dime did uh, Super dope, right? Rowley's sh- shoe re- re-release or whatever. Uh, Love that's it. awesome. So yeah, a lot of nostalgia shit going on right now. Well, I just love what Dime does. They Same. don't, they, I mean, people are skating a clothing rack. Like, I, it's so dope. Same. Love it. They just think outside the box and create cool. With the fucking clothes on there. That yeah. was How insane. Sick? How sick is that? Why don't we get in the P-Rod 1 back? Oh, man. Retro? Oh. We, we shall see. Bring it back. Oh, yeah. That should we definitely come see. back. Nike, please, let's, let's, let's work on that. Um, but Dime, also, could we come out to one of these events? Bro. We would love to, to, to be in the scene over here, bro. I've been saying I, that for years. I've been bro. seeing this the shit. The Dime Club. Dime Club. Let's go. <laughs> well, it's the collab, elevated. you know? Yeah, well, it's just, dude. It's just, they all, every Dime thing looks so fun. It really does, man. Was it, this in Paris? Yes, I believe so. I think it was Paris. They're doing yeah. a tremendous job, man. Pop up in Paris. <laughs> was that screaming? This guy looks like a lot of fun. That was meat dubs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I we just wanted to give him a shout out because they they always put together some cool stuff. And this is like, this is pretty cool. Did you say meat dubs? Meat dubs. It was <laughs> dubs loaf. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. My bad. Dude. My bad. Dubs loaf. D loaf. <laughs> meat dubs. I love it when Tim's here, man. I do too. Because it, it, really I don't know special. if people in the chat can hear him, but <laughs> he laughs. He's super uh, special. I'm easily entertained. Yeah. yeah man. Anyway, dude, this has been great, dude. Let me give a shout oh, out real no. quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Damn it, dude. No. Why? Let me give a shout out real quick because we got a lot of people here. I can't cover them all, but uh turbo thanks for the five euros appreciate you um jeremy with the two dollars thank you so much amoeba with the 4.99 uh lily with the two dollars thank you thank you old man rob with the two bucks uh ellie ray with the 199 of course bacon for you with the 69 and the hundo david m with the nine dollars and uh kula kula of course with the hundo and uh, I think he did another one, six uh, forty nine ninety nine. Paying it for the person behind him, forty nine ninety nine Turbo Zebra, nice. eight thousand Nuba with the Australian five dollars Vegico with the four ninety nine. Thank you, um, Stumpy. Of course, Damn, always Stumpy Mason. It. Wow, for fifty five months. Stumpy is the man. He's the OG. Straight Damn. up. OG he helps moderate our chats too, and he does a lot of other stuff for us. He so does. appreciate That's you. Like fucking much what? love. It's like six, seven years or something. It's <laughs> like almost how long we've been yeah. in business. Yeah. Five strong. Uh, Dreamser uh, resubscribed with the tier one on Twitch. We get the hype train. Ashley Phillips with the six bits. Appreciate that. Uh, Mark Buster with the sub with the prime. Uh, Bigfoot with the prime. Old Dirty CJ with the 420 bit bits. Thanks, Eric Davis. Steezy Dank, subscribe with the Prime. Uh, Aeteron with the Prime. Man, a lot of Prime subs. You know, they, they, it's free to them. They got an Amazon Prime subscription on Twitch. They could easily do a free Prime subscribe. Ah, so we get we get a couple bucks, and uh, they do it for free just out of support. Win-win. Win-win. Okay. Yeah. Old Dirty CJ with the 666 bits. Uh, oh. Dirt. McGirt, it's resubscribe with the tier one and the Gooch with the resubscribe with the two months. Chili P with the four hundred and twenty. Shout out days. to Ashley Classy Phillips. Classy gang here. Ashley oh, yeah. Phillips in the building. <laughs> yes, yes. P Rod, dude, I love it, man. We best. throw the P Rod symbol out there it and, and the right sky up. and uh, man, he comes right Amen. here. We got he Spanish really Mike. Oh, uh, now now he wants to come. Catch the last bit of it while she wants there to film is. the ending. Hold on, guys. The ending. Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> he on. looks like he just woke up from a nap. He did. There you were napping is. back there, weren't you? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Had kind of cup of Z's. <laughs> Listen, sh- really quick shout out to P. Rod. Go check out his YouTube channel. Oh, uh, thank you, guys. Paul yes. Rodriguez on YouTube. Should I make a cool name for my channel then? 
No, you got, you're bro, no, Paul Rodriguez. You you're already branded. Yeah, but uh, should I just call it P Rod Channel or something like? Uh, don't change, don't change, bro. Yeah, if you already have Paul Rodriguez. Do not. You're good. I'm if you got Paul saying, Rodriguez, maybe I should come up with a clip. Maybe a free Rod. How about how about how about <laughs> yes. how about podcast? There you go, podcast. Pro- mm. okay. Well, he's not a pro. He's not a podcaster yet. I would say don't. If you have the Paul Rodriguez, don't change it. I have Chris Roberts. I'm never gonna change it. Okay. Mm. Like that's no. I'm, oh, got, so that's just your segment name. Yes. Ah, I got you. Yes. Got you. Got you. Got you. Uh, one thing, you know, we are coming out with the Nixon. Oh yeah. Yes. I was watch. gonna I've comment. I right love here. the watch. Coming soon, bro. Wait, uh, Shout out to my friends at Nixon, man. Oh, maybe dear. Charlie, can you send uh, Tim the thing? But first, maybe we, you know, we uh, bring some other things into fruition right now. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Well, that'd be nice. We got the Nine Club P Rod. The one? Is that the one? Uh-huh. Coming back. It's that's a good be looking coming, shoe. It's got to be coming that back soon. That shoe is dope. It's Thank true. you. I, I really, shoe. Uh, I really love that shoe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great shoe, bro. We got a good look at that, man. Air, this air is bag. exactly what happened when we got the with the Nixon watch. Charlie just whipped uh, some stuff up. up. Boom, bomb. We got the Nixon collab coming out Char soon. Dog. Well, hopefully, you, man. hopefully that can work with this one. That'd be that'd be beautiful. Do we have a picture of the? I, I forgot to load it up. Do we, Charlie? Do we have a picture of the? Um, watch with the smoke in it and stuff yeah can we just get a live zoom in oh just do the um chris do you ever just go up to the camera and just just flash on the camera man should Show i, that. I don't Show know if that, but it's not in focus though. show them in, in maybe live, I could, live motion maybe i can get p-rod put on p-rod's uh, yeah i'm saying like yeah oh wait a little back up a little back wait, back up a little bit oh go way back go way back go back to rod's head that's what's going to be in focus you can't even see it at all here's the image chris here's the image there's the image okay we got the image here we go here we go there we go look at that charlie with the smoke look let's go that is a that is a five carat diamond and it's never been used anywhere else other than the six. But thank now you for putting it on the nine. nine. That's right. That's right. Yes. This is gonna. This is coming out very, very soon. So yeah. we're gonna have it on the nineclub.com website. Sales almost over. Yeah. So if you want to get some stuff right now, go to the nineclub.com. We're got the sale be, uh, going. But this will be pretty soon. Pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't. I don't I'll know be, if we have. A, I'll be waiting for uh, my watch. Then. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll give you a discount code for the website. How about yeah, that? I'll be, I'll be waiting. Uh, I'll be waiting for my yeah. watch. We'll discount. We'll discount. Discount. It's coming. It's coming. discount code for the website. Ten percent off. Mike, we'll give you a little. We'll give P Rod twenty percent off. No, we'll give P Rod twenty percent off. We'll give Mike the nine percent off. Okay. Hey, cool. There we go. There we go. We go. Why don't you guys rocking nice. it? Appreciate it. Yeah. But uh, shout out to Nixon. So that's going to be coming out soon. How soon is soon? We have Pretty a, damn we have in a, the next couple weeks. Okay, we yeah. don't have a def, definitive date. Mm, we do, but I don't know if I need. I don't know if too I could soon. Too I don't soon? know if I could say. I don't know soon. So, you know, <laughs> next episode on the Nine Club Live, we're gonna we'll know a lot more. We have more information. Yes. information. Nice but it's very. We have them right here. Boom. It's dope. No doubt. Uh, yeah. Love it, man. Yeah. Don't we have a billboard too? What? Oh, I was gonna save that for next week. Yep. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah. Way to ruin a surprise. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> next week, next week. Um, dude, this has been rad, man. Thank you guys so much. P Rod in the building, my dude. Boys, you oh. are, I, bro. Oh my God. So We're live again. So fun, yes. So fun hanging out with you and Mike and. Mike and we Mike. need to both get you guys both on the show. Mike, when you come on the show, I need you to be on point. I need you to be on fire. Ready. You know, you know? talk, 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 and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we're good. Oh, can you give us a thumb thumbs up? He can't even yeah, answer you verbally up. now. Yeah, we yeah. need a verbal confirmation. I can't. Thumbs up. Oh, he said he said thumbs up. He didn't even. I don't know what's going yeah. on with this guy. He's, he's got an, his he's hand on the an camera. I'm, I'm second sure. guessing this whole episode now with you and. Well, maybe I should get someone else to come on if I can. Okay, we'll figure it out. But it would be great if you. No, and, I'll and try Mike, and coach him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you might come on the show, no, it'd be great. It'll be. Yeah. It'll be beautiful. Okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, everybody in the back too, Tim. Thank you so much for the for your laughs and your uh, googling today. Thank Pretty you for the support. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. Charlie, yes. all day. Great graphics. Charlie's a man. Charlie. Dub loaf. Hundred <laughs> percent. Long live Dub Loaf. <laughs> Raj out there. Raj in the back too. Uh, putting the ones and twos together. Oh, the camera yeah. angles. Meet Beautiful. Dubs. Meet Dubs. Meet Dubs. <laughs> Meet Dubs. Meet me. Meet me. Oh, pause. Station identification. Oh, pause. Excuse pause. Me. What? <laughs> 
A lot of riddles here tonight. I don't know what's going on, but we'll decipher them after the show. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we'll have a conversation. Uh, anyway, thank you, everybody, for kicking it uh, in the chat, both on Twitch and on YouTube. Oh, I'll tell you. Go subscribe if you haven't already. Like the episode, comment. All that stuff helps us get out there in the in the ecosystem of the YouTube. It helps them get that much closer to Spotify. Yay! There we go. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Like and subscribe and... <laughs> And comment so we could get a good Spotify deal and bounce from YouTube. Yeah. That's, the, that's the plan. <laughs> Nobody's going to comment now. No. Uh, nah, appreciate man, These guys, guys. want to see you make it there. They want to see it. I know it. Yeah. It's, got, it's all love. All right. Try. Except for the homie who already got the 55 one <laughs> subscription. <laughs> That's, that's Stumpy. He'll, that's Stumpy. Play. He'll come with us. Stumpy, that, yeah, we'll, Stumpy will be coming with we, us. I tell you what. If that happens, we'll reimburse you. What we, we as in the nine club? No, we as in Paul. Re- you don't. You can't speak. <laughs> you can't speak for us. I what? <laughs> How much is give you a watch? What's fifty five? Thank you. Fifty five months times. What is he paying? Four ninety. I don't know. Four ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I don't that's know. Let's add that up. Dude. What's he a silver platinum? So five times sixty. Fifty five. This is a lot. How much? Yeah, one hundred and sixty-four dollars and forty-five cents. Oh, you can read. You get a five million dollar deal. It's not. That's not the case. You're so wrong. That's not the case. Wait, what? Four ninety-nine times fifty-five months. Yeah, five dollars times fifty-five. Two hundred seventy-four dollars and forty-five cents. I think you'd be able to afford the reimbursement uh, if you get that $5 million. I don't know, everybody. We got to go. We got to (laughs) go. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys soon. Love you all. Peace out. (laughs)